I don't think it's broken. I think we're fucking live. Oh, Holy shit. Wow. shit sticks. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah, we're live. We got one viewer. Heck yeah. Heck it's yeah. It's Jeremy. Uh, it is. It's Jeremy because Jeremy's the fucking best. He might be it's lurking. True. Well, I don't know if they're doing radiator stuff tonight. He might be lurking while they're doing Grim and Perilous stuff. Grim Perilous stuff. Must have been another culling of the bots recently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, usually we start off slow, and once other channels start wrapping up, we get their raids because we run later than most other people. That's true. Indeed. All right. So we are playing Alien. Uh, this is the continuation of Destroyer of Worlds, the, uh, you know, alien scenario kind of riffing on the vibe of the Aliens movie. Uh, we're still in Act 1, so this is like Part 2 of Act 1. Um, oh, what else? Yeah, so... Let's just do a, a recap of the story so far. You all are a group of Marines that was handpicked by a... Who's your... What's, what's his face? Do you guys remember the guy who sent you out? Major asshole. Butthole. Claw. He was missing an arm. <laughs> uh, no, that's the medical station. Someone said remember. something. What was that? What was that? Somebody in my hallway is uh, demanding entry to somebody else's apartment. <laughs> oh, no. Tell them to, oh, Hatfield. Major Hatfield. Uh, hmm. Very decorated commander in the Marines. He carries around in what well, is now an ancient, you know, Marine saber. Um. He's missing an arm, and he's known to be a incredibly effective and 
ruthless commander, but he takes good care of the troops under his command. You've all been handpicked. You're here on the uh, Arrakis. Arrakis? I'm not going to pronounce that right, so fuck it. The Arrakis hey. colony. Uh, you were picked for a mission. Now, let me to, to give, you know, Liz, give you a little bit of, of uh, context here. Very specifically, you were all on your way to war. This Arrakis colony you're on, it's in a group of planets that are pretty close. The the kind of the current political enemy of the United Americas, that's what you Marines work for, is the United Americas, mm -hmm. is UPP. You, um, the something or other progressive peoples, like United Progressive Peoples or something like that. UPP. Um, they have started taking over planets in this area. The thing is, is these planets are you know, petrol rich. So you're fighting for oil, you're fighting for gasoline out here because in mm -hmm. the alien world, shit still runs off of, you know, regular ass fuel. Decomposed so, dinosaurs. Decomposed okay. dinosaurs. So rather than making it to there, so you all stopped in this fort, uh, this uh, Fort Nebraska, you're passing through it. Uh, you all woke up from cryo sleep, and rather than finding yourselves on the front line of the war against UPP, you found yourself in Fort Nebraska, your small squad, handpicked by Hatfield to do a job. And that job is to recover four AWOL Marines. Now, if you want to look at the, in um, Foundry, the Destroyer of Worlds tab, actually I'm going to force everyone over to it, uh, you will see the four pictures there. Uh, those are the four Marines you're looking for. Uh, let's see. Let me give you names to those. AWOL Marines. The top left is Carvalho. Bottom left is Reese. Top right is Wojcik. Bottom left is Wright. So, you're going around this colony. This colony, it's almost a ghost town. Initially, it held, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. Now, there's just a few thousand people on this because the colony was in evacuation from the, you know, approaching war. But for some odd reason, you know, a day ago, all evacuation stopped. No one's coming in. No one's going out. Uh, and you get the feeling that it probably all got locked down so these four AWOL Marines don't slip away. Your job is to go out in the colony and find them. Bring them back alive if you can. But if you can't, bring them back dead. Now the, um, the other kind of catch here is uh, find, if you know, if you come across anyone who knows shit, that they shouldn't, that they learn from these Marines, you need to take care of them too. These Marines know something or are smuggling something. It's beyond your pay grade. They wouldn't tell you, but you got to stop them. So you have already recovered. Well, you found Reese. Reese was dead. Very, very dead. Why don't one of you update Dante on why Reese is dead? Aliens. Reese was carrying a baby alien in them. Ew. Also, a uh, building collapsed on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that'd do it. Yep. Yeah, we're, yeah. So, yeah, you found but out. First, he became a father. Yeah. First, he became a father. <laughs> yeah. Then he got crushed by a building. Oh, man. So tragic. So, yeah. And you... then somewhere in there, Dan shot my spine. Yeah. Tyler had to switch accident. characters. Uh, oh, my God. It might have been kidney. I think it was kidney. Yeah. Dan fucked yeah, up okay. Tyler's first. I was character. jealous of your kidneys, so I decided to win. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Art imitates life. Is that what's going on here? Give them to me. <laughs> I think so. So, uh, yeah, you found out that Reese was in the local marshal station, got picked up drunk. You went in there, went into a cell, and found a bloody mess as a, an alien had burst out of his chest, and you all had to fight it. Uh, it was intense. Uh, then you actually found Wright. And the thing with Wright is uh, Wright is alive and well. In your custody, if I'm correct. Yes. Wright's supposed to be taking us to someone else, I think. You're heading to the medical Well, base. alive and well. 
Um, we well, think yeah. they might be infected. Yeah, yeah. they have the. <clears throat> they said they were infected. They said they were given something to stop the infection, but and they don't really trust it. Working. Yeah, because um, I guess so was Reese. Uh, didn't seem to do anything. Yeah. So we were contacted by someone named Eckford, I believe, yeah. from Wayland Utani, who said that uh, she's looking to acquire these infected Marines and is willing to pay us to turn them over to Wayland Utani. Our yeah. kind of stance on that right now is sawed off, but. <laughs> Yeah, Wright job. is with us yeah. under the assumption that we are going to help uh, cure and then deliver to Wayland Utani. Yep. Okay. Although I may have been lying when I made that offer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. think anyone, at least like overtly, is okay with that in our party. So we seem yeah. to kind of unanimously want to stick to uh, turning them over. Yeah. So. Following orders, sir. Yes, sir. You all are a group of badass colonial marines sent out on a seek or destroy mission, and you find yourself at the San Rocco medical facility. Um, you're here because you received clues that maybe a couple of these, a uh, couple of these AWOL marines were, uh, you know. Found here. Oh goodness! What are they? Or we're seen here. I should reset, rephrase that. We're seen here. <laughs> yeah. As you stop your APC, your armored vehicle, out front of the hospital, the five of you are going to head on in. As you enter the hospital, you see the make it through the entrance. You see at the front desk, uh, you see a what looks like a frazzled looking uh intern young kid four interns four interns <laughs> uh a little name page on the front of his uh you know his lab coat or his smocker you know whatever his scrubs uh has the name duncan on it he's uh fielding calls he looks like he hasn't slept in days he's just out of his wits end uh, he As hasn't. Do. Yeah, he hasn't uh, hasn't quite noticed you all enter yet. He's in the middle of something behind his desk. Just what a real you... quick aside. We did call the hospital previously and had some information from them as well. I don't know if we got a doctor's name or something <clears throat> like that. We got a name of we got a name of whoever was treating um whoever. Mm, yeah, yeah, because yeah, we threw around the the major's name. Yeah. Um, I feel like it was the bottom right character on the uh, our little overlay. I can't remember her name already. Um, on the the scenario, it was one, one of the two on the right. <laughs> uh, Reese or right? I'm sorry. You're yeah. traveling with right, right, and she's the one who gave you that information. Well, no, we we called the hospital while we uh, were yeah, Doctor right Litvin is the one who checked out the Marines at the hospital, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we were told that he was busy and we told them we were on our way. Yeah. So we at least have a name to ask for when we get to the hospital. Okay. Hey Liz, right. on your character yes. sheet, you got Dante. Mm -hmm. Click yes. on your skills tab. And under agenda story items, do you see one that says act one, Dante's agenda? Yes. Click on that. And underneath it should show you your act one agenda. Okay. See it? Yes. Okay. Does that resolve what was going on? Yes. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway, so yeah, this intern hasn't noticed you yet. What do you all want to do? I mean, let's make haste. Let's go get his attention for the military. <laughs> yeah, how about um, how about I talk to him first and then you know, if I don't want all of us to show up and then say we're not allowed to go any further. And then he has seen all of us. Yeah. You know? Okay. So that's fair. I'll go up first and talk with him. And then I'll let you guys know if we're allowed to enter or not. If not, I'll distract him so we can go in. Sure. I just realized, Tyler, you're not playing Iona anymore. No, I'm playing Hammer now. I'm going to fix that while we're playing. All right. Okay. 
Yeah. Hammer sucks. Hey. Right, he does. Hammer's better than your puny ass Marine. Hammer's going to learn to respect the belt. That's for damn sure. <laughs> so, Joe, does uh, Mason head on in? Yep. Uh, I'll head in, talk to the. I think I was the one that was on the I think phone. So, with them yeah. Too. yeah. So, that works. Um, actually, I do need to take someone with me, though. Who is there one more person that wants to go along? Sure. I'll go. Okay. I'll drag. Yeah, that would make sense for you. I think you're my um, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Also, you are a little trigger happy, apparently. So, yeah, that makes sense. I want to. I, I don't have hand. any triggers. I gave all yeah. the cool things up. Which is good. Um, so, and yeah, I'll bring uh, Chaplin along. Okay. Uh, hey. And we're going to go in and talk to receptionist guy, intern. All right. What was, sure. the, what was the doctor's name again? Um, on the phone, you were probably given the name of. Dr. Litvin. Litvin? Yeah. Litvin. L-I-T-V-I-N. Litvin. Okay. Right. Templates. Oh, alien template. Hang on a second. I'm fixing right there. And then, do we know, like, approximately what time it is right now? Like, um, You know, it's... Uh, Basically, I want to like whatever time it is. Um, if it's like <laughs> oh, three man. o'clock, I'll be like, "Oh, or his three fifteen or something." Okay, so you're gonna try and bluff your way through that. Uh, yeah, we'll go. It's yeah, middle of the day. Yeah, if we get stopped. Okay. Uh, okay, like one o'clock. To... Yeah, we'll go like you know two thirty. How's that? Two thirty. Okay. Cool. Give me just a second. I yep. Um, not fixing this correct. Walk in. All right, give me just a moment. Doing some overlay shit. It's being mad dumb, yo. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. You know what? We're just gonna do battle with technology. Battle with technology. See, it's not just me breaking things. Come on. We all get to take turns. We all get to take turns. <laughs> At least I got mine out of the way before we started. Oh, geez, evil. This is going to be alien template. Should be it. That is it. Okay, it's fixed. Hooray. All right. So, yeah, you walk up. You see this frazzled... You know, Duncan. Oh, ah, uh, hey, uh, I didn't see you two there. Um, hey, yeah, uh, you, we're just here to see uh, Dr. Litvin. Oh, were you the ones that contacted us earlier? Yep. That would be us. We're here. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dr. Litvin is, uh, he's over in, um, Let's see, he is in, he is in exam bay four. So he's just like, just head down the hallway here, take a left, last one on the left. Fantastic. A quick question, does he still have his patient with him? Or uh, are they somewhere else? Oh, there's a few down there. There's a couple in, uh, oh, let's see. There's the couple people down in recovery two. He was visiting earlier. Um, I think there was someone in recovery one, uh, but it could have been, you know, one of the, the other interns was looking at them. I'm not sure. But last I heard, he was going to be in uh, exam four. Okay. I mean, okay. It probably makes sense to start with him, I guess. Okay. You tell Rajli to leave that alone. <laughs> I might. I might not. <laughs> Okay, so are you radioing the other three so everyone can head back there? Or... Yeah, um, as soon as we're not stopped, I'll okay. I'll give the go ahead for everyone else to to join us. Sure. So the rest of you come on in, head down the corridor. 
take your first left into the uh, exam slash surgical bays. Uh, first door okay. you come across is a medical stores room. And then there's the four different um, exam rooms. One, two, three, and four. While they walk past, okay. can I check out that medical stores room? Uh, yeah, you go up to it. You check it out. It is locked. Uh, but it looks like, you know, either you could... Um, can it be aggressively unlocked? Yeah, you could either uh, find a way to try and short circuit the keypad using a com tech. Uh, or, yeah, if you want to, you know, get a little Just tough with it, you could give me a uh, close combat roll. Oh, I did not want to click stunts. There are you go. Oh. I think that's four Fuck successes. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> he knocked it out of the park. It was so dramatic. Yeah. So yeah, you kind of move up, take the butt of your rifle and just bam, bust the uh, the keypad off the door. There's a little uh, little couple little sparks, a little bit of smoke that comes out, and the the medical store's room just smoke. swings right open. I want to see if they have any X stem. Oh yeah, they got X stem. I'm gonna take a handful of X then. Uh, you find eight doses. All right, and I'm gonna take one now. Sure, go ahead. Uh, X stem, if I'm correct, reduces your stress. Is that correct? I, you know, I don't know. Don't just be popping. I just know it makes me feel good. What they're doing. Yeah, people take it for the benefit. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, but anyway, the X stem also has some special effects. If I'm correct, yeah, I'm looking. That reduces all your stress because it's your uh, your item. Yes. So yeah, go ahead and take your drugs. You feel it kick in, and uh, your stress is reduced. You're feeling great, ready for some action. Yeah. So a moment later, Hammer catches up with all of you as you're making it to exam room four a little more pep in his step so initially you move into the the first little area and it's a um observation area um or recovery area there's a, a medical gurney here there's some uh trays for medical things but there's also a door that heads into the actual surgical room um and you can see that uh the door has a small viewing window on it, maybe, you know, a foot by a foot. It's got the reinforced glass where you can see the wires kind of hatched through it. Uh, but you can see there's light coming out of it. There's a light turned on in the room itself. So what do y'all want to do? Take a peek first. Sure. Uh, you peek in. You see lying on the auto dock, there is a man in a surgical gown, not surgical gown, like a, a patient's gown, like, you know, a hospital gown, lying on the auto dock, uh, seems to be unconscious, and you can see there is a, a doctor kind of examining them, moving around, checking some things out, checking out some equipment. Um, but uh, give me an observation test there, uh, there, Dan. Sure thing. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what you see. All right. Well, things look all right. If we want to try and uh, get some attention or something, um, well, Chaplin's looking as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, while they're looking, I want to like you know how when you like make a fist, but like your middle knuckle is up. Yeah. But it's still like a fist. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. And then punch hammer in the leg. <laughs> ah. What? Okay. Uh, go ahead and make hammer. me a uh, close combat test there, Jake. What? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, Mason, were you looking through the window? Oh, yeah. Uh, hammer, are you doing hmm. it hard enough to try and actually injure Hammer or just fucking with him? Just fucking with him. Okay. Yeah, all of a sudden, Hammer, it catches you by surprise. This sharp kind of thump in the side of your leg hits you like right on a like a bone or a nerve or something. Your leg almost kind of buckles for a second. Uh, but the then, yeah. Same thing right I'm into I'm just going to whisper. I'm going to whisper, fucking junkie. 
I'm going to do the same thing right into his shoulder. Yeah. As <laughs> Again, not hard enough to hurt him. Just Yeah. Just fucking with each other. As you two are exchanging blows, uh, Mason, you move up next to Chaplin and you take a peek through the window. And the thing that you notice is that the person lying on the table in the medical gown is uh, Carvalho. One of the four ah. AWOL Marines. How many exits and entrances are there to this room? One. Or just the one? Yeah. Cool. My Android eyes. Yeah. Seem to I'm instantly well. going to uh, relay that to the rest of the team. Like, hey, this is one of our guys. Um, and uh, is the door open right now? No. Um, and is Carvalho like unconscious? Looks like he's unconscious on the table. Okay. Uh, is he on like a table or like a gurney that we'd be able to? It's a out? it's an auto dock, so think like a very high tech like medical bed that has like all of these uh or hospital bed that has like all these arms and scanning devices that can come up over it for procedures and okay. whatnot. Is he like how movable does he look? Is he like open or like wired in or anything? Or are they? He's like... uh he's just lying there, lying okay. on it. I mean you. Okay. Shall we open the door? And... Yep. You go to open the door into the surgical room, and it is locked. Shall we? But unlock as you, the door? as you jiggle yeah, the handle, the well, I was gonna say, as you jiggle the handle, the doctor inside hears it, and it kind of mm. startles him. He catches like, oh, and then he he comes over to the window and he's looking at you through it. He's mm. like, ah. Um, I'm sorry. It's a it's a sterile room. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you all to leave. As he's yelling at this through you through the the pane of reinforced glass there. We shove our military ID up to the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're here to pick up one of our patients' friends. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot release this patient from my care. Uh, you all need to leave immediately. Thank you. I absolutely think that you can. Uh, and you're going to need to do that. I, I'm sorry. I cannot help you with that. Uh, as then he starts pretending like he can't hear you. I'm going to hold my ID against the window with my pistol. He walks away from the door and walks back over to the auto dock table. All right. Can I hold open on, the on. door for us? I know how these doors work. Well, let, let me try and do it nicely uh, this time. And nah, then you can do your thing. Nah, well, nah. Chaplin, uh, this is up to Hammer, I guess. Hammer, Chaplin's asking you to hold off. Well, I'm already at the door, I mean. Yeah. Hammer, do uh, it. No, I'm punching the door. Yes. <laughs> I'm better than fucking pansy-ass Chaplin. Yeah, Cham you kind of, Chaplin, Hammer <laughs> just kind of almost pushes you out of the way. As he comes up, are you shooting out the door or are you just busting the lock off? With oh, your... I'm just busting the lock off again. You bust the lock off and the door swings open. And Chaplin, you and Hammer are standing there in the doorway. Um, Mason, you got pushed back a step when Hammer kind of barged mm -hmm. in. Um, all of a sudden, the doctor, get back! You, you can't! He's my patient! I must protect him! As he pulls out a marine assault rifle from behind the table. Jesus oh my god. And he's just pointing it at you all like, "Get back. Get out of here." You can see he doesn't know how to hold it. Can you give me just a moment? Yeah. Uh but yeah, he's he's pointing this <laughs> rifle at you like, "Get back. You're back or else." Can I can I walk up and grab the gun out of his hands? Sure. Give me a close combat test. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, Dante, you just walk up and you're just like, fucking give me that shit. And you just snatch it by the top rail and just hardcore yank it out of his hand. He almost stumbles and falls over Carvalho on the table as you yank the rifle out of his hand. Uh, can I then turn it on him? Yeah, you turn it on him. And you can see that not only um, was the safety on, uh, he must have accidentally, uh, when he picked it up, hit the mag release because as soon as you snatch it out of his hand the mag just drops out of the bottom of it <laughs> like this dude did Doctors. not know what he was doing now you would still know even with the mag release dropped and the magazine out of it there's, there's still, still gonna be around still around in the chamber 
So yeah. yeah, you can turn it around. You click the safety off. You know you got one bullet in this rifle <laughs> unless you pick up the mag off the ground and pop it back in. Just eject it for style points. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as you snatch it out of him, he's like, okay, listen, don't hurt me, please, but you can't take him. It's vital that you do not... Why? Um, unknown... Uh, listen, he, he asked me to remove it from him without telling the things. I know you're all here on orders, but please, he, um... He's innocent. How long whatever. is it going to take you to do that? Well, that's the problem. I don't know if I can. Okay, then we're leaving. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we don't have time for this. Well, you can't take him. It's it's dangerous to take him. I don't know what that is. Yeah, but it's it dangerous for him. him to stay. Uh, well, last but, time but, one of these guys turned right. into a cocoon, we all died. So. Right. Well, what we need to do is we need to get him in. Uh, we need to get him in cryo, but I don't have any cryo yeah. tubes here. But there's a medical frigate in the spaceport. I was going to try and arrange to get transport to. If we get him, yeah, in cryo, they have that locked down pretty good. Are there any cryopods at the military base? Uh, there would probably there would well usually no cryopods are for ships, right. So the only chance would be is if you could get Are the, there portable cryopods? There can be, yes. But okay. um in this instant, you know, once you're on base, you're not you're not going into cryo. Uh yeah. usually you, you only would... find cryo on a ship for you know okay. near FTL travel. Um, I would radio um back to base because we have a line back to the base right absolutely uh i'd radio back to whoever we're in charge of or is in charge of us um hatfield right yep do we talk to him directly yeah you got a direct radio line to him cool uh i'd say uh hatfield we're gonna need four well three cryopods um on site to detain these guys they've got something weird in them I don't think it wakes up if they're Soldier, in whatever you're saying over Pope and Airwaves, you need to stop right now. Oh. Is it not <laughs> secure? What? Well, you, um, just between you and I, usually it is, but any anyone listening, any Marine or military style, um, you know, military any, any other armor. If, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say that stuff then if i if i knew that it could be yeah overheard. i would just say i need three air. cryopods uh soldier you we guys are gonna need three cryopods you're and... gonna need to get them that is the only way we're gonna be able to safely return with what you want i'll start seeing what i can come up with but it is uh... non-negotiable well <laughs> Soldier, listen here. You got a lot of fucking nerve for telling me what's negotiable or not on the order that I gave you. I will see what I can yeah. find, but you better remember what your rank is, soldier. Non-negotiable if you want me to complete the job you asked me to do. So, I mean, the job was dead or alive. So. Am I hearing? Am I hearing this as well? Oh yeah. Um. Oh man. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to start pulling my belt off. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to snap it into my cum and I'll say You hear that, you son of a bitch? Get the goddamn cryopods if you want this job done right. All right. I'll see what I can do, but I'm going to remember this. Y'all better expect a swift kick in the ass when you get back to base for uh, fucking talking to me like that. I'm allowed to kick me in the ass. I get you with the belt. <laughs> Uh, could somebody give me a quick update on how the situation diffused with the doctor? <laughs> so oh, we broke the door. <laughs> so Joe wants a cryopod to stick these Marines into. Oh, well, this what dude... about the doctor with the gun? Oh, Don uh, Dante just the walked up and just snatched it right out of his fucking hands. <laughs> like nice. no if ands or buts, just yoink. I don't fucking Terminator think so. two. <laughs> Yep. But nice. uh, okay. dude said that uh, he was trying to get this dude into cryopod because he's got something in his chest growing, some creature. And of course, you all would recognize what that means from Reese. Yep. Uh, so then Joe Mason called back to base asking to get cryopods. 
to store the other three Marines or AWOL Marines. Now, uh, Hatfield's just like, uh, I'll see what I can do, but you all better fucking learn how to talk to a superior officer. And, uh, Jim Jewski, Schmidjewski. Jewski. Jim Jeffries. Schmidjewski. Schmidjewski. Um, Jet ski. Uh, threaten Hatfield. You better fucking do it. So right now Hatfield yeah. is agitated with all of you, but said he will do what he can to see if he can arrange some cryopods for all of you. Or for the three AWOL Marines that are still alive. <clears throat> By the end of this mission, um, Hatfield's getting the belt. I don't think that's how that's going to work. Right? <laughs> so, but as you're all arguing, finally the doctor's like, let's go out into the recovery room. Uh, that way he's sedated, but I'd rather not risk waking him up right now. Have you seen Kay. the other Marine? Uh, Wojcik, yeah. She was here this morning, uh, but she disappeared uh, a handful of hours ago. By her own power and security footage? I don't know. We don't have security footage on it. Um, I was busy, uh, you know, uh, going over blood results that I took from her and Carvalho here. Or blood test. What is the check to see if he's lying? Is that it's going to be an observation test? Empathy. Let me see which skill in empathy. Observation. Wait a second. Wasn't uh, part of our mission? No. manipulation? Uh, manipulation. I would call it manipulation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he seems to be yeah, honest about close. this, man. He's not. He's speaking frankly. Okay. He's kind of, kind of, pretty much scared shitless after what uh, Dante did. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, he's like, I took Eric's. blood tests from them, and as I was processing those, you know, those blood samples, uh, when I came back, she was gone. But it's of utmost importance that we um, that she is found and found quickly. That yeah, we is that the one that we found? No, you found or... Reese. We haven't Reese... found. We found. I thought we found two. Oh, right. you found right. I'm sorry. Reese is dead, and right is in your APC. Okay, and then so this is a third one. This is sedated here. Right, yep. sedated here is Carvalho, a third one, and he was saying okay. that Wojcik. So Wojcik's the fourth. The one, fourth went missing. They but were she here. Was here this morning. Left. Okay. Which means and that they could still be somewhere in the anyway. spaceport. Say no, we're at the hospital now. Uh, the, I only rolled the manipulation to see if he like had anything to, if he like aided them in any way. But it seems like he didn't want them to leave. So. Well, and I mean, you haven't asked any pointed questions either. I mean, but yeah. he's just like they were running blood tests. It's important we get her back. Uh, she is not well. Mm. Okay. Um, well, we got a pod waiting for him back on base, uh, per doctor's orders. So let's get him sedated and get him out of here. Yep. I hope you're ready to take the day off because you're coming with us. So as you're all conversating here, um, all of a sudden you hear a crash from the surgical room uh, oh you um you run to the door and you look in and you can see carvalho standing there conscious uh it looks like he pulled his combat knight knife he must have had his gear in the room he oh, i thought his... we were like next to him in the room no the doctor asked all of you to go to the next room so you don't accidentally wake <clears throat> him up because he oh. was sedated, uh, but they didn't want to risk I didn't realize him. we had moved yet. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, you run in there. He's got his combat knife in his hand, but he's holding it over his chest. And he's like, I got to get this fucking thing out of me. I got to get it out of me. Um, uh, I'll try to run in and stop him, sure. I guess. Um, let me see what kind of test I want for this. I'll call out, kick his ass, chaplain. <laughs> <laughs> well, Give me a mobility test. Both he and it won out of him. 
Okay. Oh yeah, you run over and you fucking like Batista well, spear him. Well, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Uh, never mind. This might be tough. So. Yeah. You run over. You tackle him. Um. So you wanted to roll mobility to get over to what exactly? Let me rephrase that. I kind of jumped ahead of what I was trying to do. You're trying to what? Just snatch the knife out of his hand, tackle him. Basically, tackle him. Okay. So yeah, you run over, you tackle him. The two of you go rolling over the auto dock that you were on, and the two of you crash behind the auto dock. Um, you wrestle him with with him for just a moment. You pull the knife out of his hand. Hang on a second. Uh, but. Something happens. You two are wrestling. He gets the knife back. He's got almost like absurd strength to him. Maybe he's uh, worried it out. <laughs> and as you um, all are watching this. It happens in just the blink of an eye. You see Chaplin stand up from behind the auto dock table. And he is got blood on him. And he's holding the hilt of the knife. But the blade of the knife is missing. It's like smoking. It's almost sizzling. Ah... Uh. So Chaplin, I didn't quite stop him, but it doesn't look like it worked either. But yeah, Chaplin, in your in your struggle to stop him, uh, he accidentally wrestled the knife out of your hand and plunged it into his own chest, center mass, and you heard like as soon as that knife buried in Chaplin, you saw like wriggling and writhing inside his chest, <laughs> and no. the uh, the knife the the hilt of the knife just came back clean as that creature just like the other one you fought in the jail it's oh, uh acid. blood just melted the blade right off Damn. oh boy well he's tussling with him can i get the magazine back in yeah i'm gonna i want to walk over to him um is there some like a thick blanket or anything in the room yeah i uh, will say that gonna... there's uh there's some surgical blankets maybe uh i wouldn't say nothing like wool thick but uh, I just thick. need anything, th yeah, tarp thick, anything like that. What are you, what's your uh, I want to drape here? it. I want to cover his head and then torch his body so he's recognizable. Okay, uh, you're not you gonna find anything that's like in a hospital. Like you find like cotton, you find linen. Mm -hmm. um, in a surgical room, it's that thin kind of, you know, or just like a tray. I want to something you can find a tray kind of, easy enough you find a tray you kind of bend it and set it over his head like a you know little yeah. foil tent you put over a turkey on thanksgiving while yeah. you're baking and it. then i'm just gonna torch his oh, body do you for have a, a bit with the incinerator unit okay i have a incinerator unit yeah. yeah so yeah you take a few moments the rest of you are watching as uh, mason walks up and just torches this dude's corpse everyone else uh go ahead and take me a point of stress for this well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> but the doctor's like, what the fuck? We were going to save him. Like, uh, it's, there's, uh, once he kills himself, there's not any saving him. <laughs> yeah, I think euthanasia is legal here. So, uh, fucking Christ. If it's not where the military, we <laughs> God damn it. Well, if you're going to kill my fucking patients, I better go get to the other two before you kill them, too. I'm sorry, other two. It wasn't intentional. We wanted him back. He storms out of the room. I'm sorry, they're going right others. after him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all just going. He's angrily, like, fast walking down the hallway. Like, I can't. We were going to fucking save him. Like, it wasn't his fault. The, they fucking Since I've got um, my belt, I'm going to hit him with the belt. I'm not going to let everyone <laughs> leave the room. I need at least one person to stay back with me. Give me a close I'm just going to crack there, the belt out. I would ask that uh, Chaplin stay back with me. Okay, so the right. chaplain, do you stay back? This time, yeah. All right, chaplain and Mason, you two stay back. I kind of uh, want to keep an eye out like the hallway so sure. I can see where they're going. But uh, mm -hmm. all right, I'd call out anyone to stay back uh, if you don't want to stay back. Like, if there's okay. just one person. Who all is we, chasing we after? after? 
this right. dude. I know is we need to get off to him. But Shit, I'm going. I also want to get. All right. So Hammer, Dante, and Zemjuski are chasing after him. Zemjuski, okay. you slap him with the fucking belt. Yeah, you slap the fuck out of him with the belt. Uh, you can see that it's you hit him over the shoulder, and it almost drops him. You hit him with so much force. Go ahead and take uh, how much stress do you got? A two. Go ahead and take both points of stress off. Oh hell! <laughs> God yeah, this is my right here. That's a so, good beating right there. <laughs> he fucking buckles. He's like, God damn it! He came here begging me for help. I was trying to remove the. I'm guy pulling thing. my gun and I'm putting it under his chin, my pistol under his okay, chin. Okay, okay, I'll stop. What do you want? <laughs> you do not leave our sight. You said you have other patients. Who the fuck are they? And where are they? They're they're in recovery. I got a, a woman in there. She came in comatose. I've got her on a ventilator. Uh, and then last I checked, one of my interns was in a room with two other people. They were brought in together. Uh, one was an OD and the other one uh, had been shot. So no chest bursters in them? The fuck is a chest burster? Get is that what those creatures here. are? <laughs> no. Make sure to keep the doctor. <laughs> Yeah, we still need to keep the doctor because he probably knows too much about so, these creatures. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Come on. Yeah. Gonna, we don't want to. You want the uh, hospital to explode, Doc? No? All right, come with us. Well, I got to check on my patients. Are you saying. If you want, you can come with me while I check on them, but I do need to check on them. I have a responsibility to the others since you killed the one I was uh, currently trying to help. Fuck's sake. All right. Just, all right. We're both going. Uh, yeah. If anyone asks, you don't. You answer you answer anybody's questions that you come into directly. If I think you're talking in code, you get the belt. Sure. <laughs> sure. He takes you all down to recovery. You follow him to recovery. He is he's angry. He's kind of half ass talking to you about it. He's like, listen, this is such fucking bullshit. We could have saved him. But the other one, you have to find the other one. She is dangerous. She's does he know anything about where the other one disappeared from? He's like, like I said earlier, she they both came in together this morning. I drew blood on them. I was running the tests when I came back. She was gone, but he was still here. Now, as you're moving down to recovery, you can hear. Um, you hear two things. One is a steady flat tone. The and immediately it triggers. That's the sound of a flat line. And upon hearing that, he's like, oh, shit. He's like, come on, we got to hurry. But you also hear another thing. It sounds like feral screams. Uh, the same area? Recovery mm. 2. He bursts through the door of Recovery 2, and you see three people. You see a person on the bed hooked to the, you know, the monitors, and it's just flatlined. You see another dude who is um, on a table, almost wrestling with the intern. He's got blood on him. The intern's trying to, you know, push him down so he could, like, work on him or something like that. But the dude is just fucking cursing, yelling, screaming his head off. But as soon as the three of you enter, hey, tell Newsboy to knock it off. Chuck says, knock it off. <laughs> as soon as you enter, the dude screaming just zips up quiet. Like, he looks real uncomfortable. It's like, and the intern's like, finally, you fucking calm down. Now I can help you with this stupid shot. And the doctor runs up and starts checking out the flat line. Uh, starts doing medical intervention, leaving the three of you standing there watching kind of the doctor trying to resuscitate the flatlining person and the intern starts working on the dude who's now quieted down it's gonna be hard for me to use the belt with my thumb up my ass over here <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing so i'm just gonna stand there uh, I want... <laughs> got two hands. each of you who's in that room i want you to roll me an observation test <gasps> Kick him. come on I do. Oh, them wonderful dice. 
All right, Hammer, you fell. Dante, you get a success. Zimajewski, you got a success. Are you going to push? Oh, wait, if I've already got a success, I ain't pushing it. Yeah, you I'm got it. All right. Uh, oh. Hammer, you need to roll me stress. But, yeah, no problem. Wait, what? You rolled a three. Oh, yeah, you're keeping it together. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So, uh, Dante and Zimajewski, you notice the dude on the table looks really uncomfortable, and he keeps nervously glancing up at you. He's kind of trying to, like, almost hide his face a little bit. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Uh, um, uh, it's fine. Uh, I, I just got into a, um, uh, an argument, uh, uh, with my girlfriend and, um, uh, she shot me. Dang, that's rough, buddy. Sounds like you need to be single for a little while. Why don't you hit your ride with us and we can go? Uh, no, cool I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta get treated. I can't, I can't go with you. Ah, nah, you'll be all right. We got a doctor. We'll keep an eye on you. Uh, uh, no, really. I, I need, uh, this here. And he pats the intern. The intern looks really uncomfortable. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's a good buddy of mine. I only trust him to work on me. And the intern looks at like, what the fuck? Can I shimmy between him and the intern? Be like, ah, man. As just like you, put my arms over both of them. Just be like, as oh, you we're just start, little pals. As you start moving close and your arms extended, all of a sudden the dude leaps up and he grabs like a surgical instrument off the fucking table and he grabs this intern around the back of the neck and he puts this thing up to the dude's neck. Get the fuck back! Get back now! Can I shoot him? Open his goddamn throat! Can I shoot him? Yeah, make me a shoot. Range combat? Range combat. Or... or you can click on your gun on the skill tab. Oh. Uh, it's fine. So you get a success there. Do you want to push that? Mm. You're Dante. I mean, I had, I need to roll stress anyway. So. Uh, do you? Think... Yes, you yeah. do. All right. Uh, you get a... Uh, you're keeping it together. You're good. Ha-ha. <laughs> Uh, that was your pulse rifle, which has a damage too. So you put two points of damage as you blast this dude in the soldier or in the shoulder. Uh, let me see how that treats him. He's fine. Uh, Just a flesh wound. Yeah, he he gets hit again. He doesn't go down, but he stumbles back. Just enough. And he's like, I fucking told you. And he leaps up and he buries this because you kind of knocked him back a little bit. Buries this instrument in the intern's face. Like just stabs him in the cheek. And we're going to do a little bit of initiative here. Oof. All right. So we're going to be oh, fighting. having a grand old time with our dead friend. <laughs> Good God. Doing a puppet show. Yeah. yeah we're going to go with Dante Hammer. How many NPCs do we have in the uh, APC right now? Uh, let's see. You've got... Um, also, Iona there... and Silva along with Wright. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, I think we I just got Silva because... This body... Technically, we've APC. always had Silva because she's the commander or whatever. Without well, uh, Wright... Say that again. Uh, seen it. Wait, what, Joe? Say that again. Uh, is there like a compartment or something in the APC that wouldn't... I, I don't want to bring the body of uh, this guy all torched and fucked up back and throw it in the back of the APC with her. Because that's you not going to... There's going to be really. some... I mean, pretty much APC. It's armored exterior with space on the inside. There's no like extra compartments or anything. Uh, there's okay. room for storing gear on the inside walls of it, but it's like, it's mm. not big compartments or anything. It's not, you know, you're not like an airplane where you've got overhead bins or anything. Well, uh, how about we just okay. see if we can fish some dog tags off of them and just destroy the rest of them. Um, yeah. Let's see. Are there totes big enough? We could fold them up into here. <laughs> you just cut the head off. There could be, yeah. I mean, what I what good is his head at this point? Wait, we just, just need quarter him, him. Stack him in a tote. You're fine. 
Uh, shove him in a 55 gallon barrel with some I've got PTSD but I'm not that far gone I, I figure we just take his tags and I'll dispose of his body if you want oh right yeah um, I mean if we have a way to get, bring his body back that'd be nice if I mean, like a tote or something you could like find that. a fucking they've got a morgue here you could find a fucking body bag right that's still going to well, raise questions. So my the issue is, I feel like if we bring back one of the four, because we have one of the four alive in the APC, I feel like if we bring back this corpse of one of the four, it's going to really hurt her trust. Right. I've got uh, the solution. We'll take the dog tags, put them in my pocket, torch the body, okay, okay. and then well, we'll okay. go see what they're dealing with. Okay, we'll get to that yep. because right now. It's Zemijewski's turn. Yep. Oh, baby. As this dude just buried like a, uh, I don't know. I don't know fucking surgical scalpel. tools. Something. Not necessarily a scalpel, but something pointy enough that he thought it could injure someone. Maybe not. Uh, but he just buried it into this dude's face. Yeah. <laughs> so, Zemijewski, what do you got? Something crunchy. <laughs> Well, a gunshot's already been made, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my pistol and just shoot this fucking guy. Sure. Uh, let's see here. How do I make it active? Oh, yeah, I right-click on it, yes? Yep. Nope. I click on it there. All right. Pistol. hoo -ah. Uh, So, pistol damage one. So, yeah, you do two points of damage on this dude. Uh, You did two before. He's still up. But he's looking pretty fucked up. He's got a couple extra holes in him than when he started. Um, he, on the other hand, is going to realize that he's lost. And he is going to try and drop the intern as a hostage and just try and dodge through all of you and try and escape the room. So I'm going to have him make a mobility test. Uh, does anyone want to use their action? This will be their action for the upcoming turn. So, Hammer Dante, either one of you want to use your turn to try and snatch him? Yes. So he doesn't get out of the room? If you do that, I want you to... Um, you got two options. You can try and give me a mobility test to try and tackle him. Or you can give me an attack test of some kind to try and put him down. Um, I'm going to try and whack him on the head as he runs past me. Try and knock him out. Close combat. Fucking Christ. Jesus. You have to roll like 10 dice, so. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking... What the fuck, buddy? <laughs> you take the a crack at him. I can go ahead and just end combat. Your Iron Man oh now that pops up as you bam. <laughs> I assume oh, as God. he's trying to run by, you're just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, close line. <laughs> Is it not letting me roll on that? Uh, let's see. I want to roll this. Let's see what you did to him. Brain Buster. Uh, you pull out your knife and you just bury it into his thigh meat as he's running by. Oh. And he just I'll goes down. tumbling to the floor. It's not going to kill him, but he's not fucking going anywhere now. Uh, we're out of combat. He's collapsed on the floor. Screaming in pain. What the fuck am I? Gonna, I'll tie my belt around his mouth. Can yeah. I just walk over? What? You gag him. Uh, then what are you doing? <laughs> You're walking over, Dante. And Oh, I was, I was just kind of putting him down. You can do that still. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to shoot him in the I head. I won't make you roll for it. You walk Jesus up. Christ. I want, oh, I before before, before, on, before she shoots on, him in the head, I'm going to put my hand up in front of her and get my belt off of his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, yeah, Dante, you you almost got agitated there for a second because you thought that uh, Zimajewski was going to stop you, but now he was just getting his belt out of the way. He's like, no, please, please, I can please. Respect that. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Just don't kill me. Do you pull the trigger? Hold on, I have questions. 
It's, Do you voice this concern, Tyler? Yes, I voice this concern. All right, then I'm just going to put the barrel to his head and be like, all right, ask away. We're waiting. What the fuck, dude? Who do you work for? Uh, I work for the insurgents. I'm an you insurgent. Work the, you work for the insurgents. Now you Where's know. the Baba Jack? <laughs> the insurgents here on the base, you kind of picked this up from your initial briefing, um, <laughs> are starting to do some... They're they're friendly with the UPP. Mm-hmm. Come on, and, I work uh, for the insurgents. Uh, they, does he know did, where what's her face went? Because they were looking for the insurgents. Yeah, yeah that's right. Weren't uh, the AWOL people the, were? Yeah, yeah. With they him. originally went to the insurgents, but then there was a scuffle between the two. Apparently, uh, boy, um, yeah, I I know where one of them is. Where? Uh, my people picked one up a couple of hours ago. It was, I got shot while we were trying to grab her. The more information you give me, the less painful your death will be. Okay, okay, don't kill me, don't kill me. They took her, we have a compound. Where is the compound? It's over in the, uh, in the West District. Um... And he, he gives you instructions. If you all look at the Arrakis colony map, I'm going to move everyone over there. You'll now see a uh, red X. If you Jesus look, Christ. it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I'll make it a little larger. Oh, oh yeah, I see it now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. We, have a, we have a compound over there. That's where we were going to take them until we can hand them over to the UPP. I mean, that's all my questions answered. Did anybody else have any questions? Do you have any information that you feel like might save your life? Uh, I gave, I told you we got one. We, I told you where they're at. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just a grunt, man. Like, Sucks. You shouldn't have signed scum. up with the wrong people. <laughs> and I just fire. Sure, you take them. Uh, Cap and a, a person who surrendered, uh, the three of you in the room take a point of stress. They're still insurgent scum. No. <laughs> All right. right. Right? Like, it... as soon as Why we let him I go, he just calls his buddies this. at the base, move the cargo. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Chaplin and Mason, how are you? Do you throw this corpse in a uh, body bag or do you just take the dog tags and just scorch it? I think we just take the dog tags and scorch it. I agree yeah. with you. I don't need to. We don't want to bring suspicion into someone we're tricking into trusting us. Right, yeah. I, I feel like it would really jeopardize being able to work with Wright to get them back to the base if we bring the corpse of one of our friends back. So don't want to do that. Sure. Um, but we definitely need confirmation that we found him and dealt with him. Um, I would want to bring the body to the morgue. Sure. Um, the rest, the three of you, you reconnect in the hallway as um, you see Chaplin and Mason pushing a scorched corpse on a gurney down towards the morgue. Uh, Make sure you guys get the doctor. Me. He's coming with us. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stick with the doctor until he's done with the comatose, until he's done probably medicating himself after what the hell he just witnessed. <laughs> yeah. The doctor is <laughs> pretty much in shock at this point. He's kind of, he couldn't save that person. He's patched up the intern. I'll say you guys get the, the body in the morgue. And then you reconnect in the main hallway. Uh, Zemajewski, against his will, you're dragging the doctor along. Good. So. You make it back to the APC. Just for shits and giggles, right? It's just like, well, did you, did you find I'll, any of them? I'll, I'll buy the doctor, like, a Coke from, like, a vending machine, because... And it's been a rough day for that guy. He'll get a Coke. Oh, I'll buy him some Coke from the local drug dealer. I was going to say, like, what's Fucking the funny thing? <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, Hammer. Again. <laughs> yeah. So, um... We found some insurgent scum in here, but... Okay. Pepperoni ravioli. 
Yeah, we'll relay to the others uh, what we found out about their uh, little headquarters in the Western District and uh, okay. say that uh, Wojcik's probably over there with them. Is that who we're missing? Mm-hmm. I've lost track of the names at this point. So we've got three or four now? Yep. Yeah. Right. Technically, yep. So, um, as you're all heading towards the Western District in your, you know, your APC, your armored vehicle, you are on the road heading that way. And all of a sudden you come to an intersection, um, as you kind of pull up into it, it's been blocked off by like shipping containers, um, Hmm. I'll mm. shift the map so you all can see what you're you're dealing with here. Headache, probably. Oh, jeez. Ah, great. I don't like the looks of that. We're gonna have to get out and walk. Well, we, well, I mean, our APC could probably. I think it's gonna be more than just that. Push some shipping containers out of the way. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but. you know to to get where you need to go, you got to go straight through this intersection. But uh, I'm gonna say probably uh, Iona's driving, seeing as that's all Iona can do since taking that injury. Uh, we can try and pull them out of the way, but someone's gonna have to go hook the winch up, so we can drag one or two of these car containers out. Um, I'll go do it, but I need somebody to keep their eyes on me. I can watch. Oh. I'm not allowed to have Night. any weapons, so okay, I'll probably before, stay in the APC. Before we get out, um, okay, I'll I'll let you grab your um, your rifle, Chaplain, uh, for this because I expect this to be bad. Um, and then, can I do like an observation to see if there's any like vantage points or something that looks like? Does this look like it's set up and there might be a place that people are waiting for us? I won't even make you roll for that. You know tactics. This is definitely... Oh, oops, sorry. That's all right. Uh, This is definitely a, uh, yeah, a trap. Like there's, uh, these shipping containers are blocked off in a way to, you know, Mm -hmm. make it harder for you to hit people to still give shooting vantage points for shooters there's a couple buildings okay. nearby that someone could get on and shoot down from. Uh, we have like a basically like a tank cannon thing on top of our APC, right? Yeah. Um. So does it? I want to see what the most like likely place my character would be able to tell someone's probably waiting behind. Um. um. I mean, if our gun is good enough, we could probably just shoot through some shipping. Tank. You know, I do have a motion tracker if that would help us. Is, any. is it like a is it like a tank round that's explosive, or is it like a machine gun? You've got a uh, a phased plasma pulse cannon up on the turret. Just, okay. I'll run this by her again real quick in case it got talked over. I have a motion tracker if that would help us. Yeah, if you get outside, you can totally use that motion tracker. I think that motion tracker can help us. I've got a grenade launcher. Um, so. Oh, yeah, you have a grenade launcher. Um, and an RPG launcher. I have one, too. Uh, I have a grenade launcher as well. I feel like we I think start with the we... motion tracker, see if that gives us any information. Well, he just said I need to get out for it. Oh, okay. Right. I f- think we immediately throw um, grenades at... Um, anything that looks like it's set up for cover. So uh, everywhere? Yeah, we can try it. Specifically the shipping containers. I'm worried about, I don't want to throw one into a random building that might have people in it that aren't affiliated with this. Um, right. But definitely the shipping containers. Um, if there's spots that look like there's people, any of the containers that are propped up for cover, I just want to open up with a, a grenade launcher round from everyone that has those on those spots. Okay. Give me a second here. So can I make an observation to kind of identify potential places for that? Uh, 
I'm gonna push. Nice. Two All successes. Right, two successes. Give me just a moment. It's a lot of private dice. Yeah. Who's right. really saying fuck these people in particular? Uh, so you can where the see about from where you're looking at um, with your two successes, I'll say it. Uh, you can see there's a kind of up on the front uh we'll call it top you can see where i'm pinging that would be a really yeah. good shooting point and then also the top corner of this building over here it would give a great okay. vantage point down onto the intersection i'm gonna relay that uh who all has grenade launchers is that just me and uh Liz? i don't have grenades Hunter. i don't think i have a grenade launcher because i know i have a launcher i have neither no. so i'll man the uh the turret if need be okay I'm going to say, uh, Dante, I'll take this spot, and you take this spot. Let's just open up. The second we open those doors, take a shot at each of those. I'm here for it. Sweet. Okay. And then um, right after we take those shots, Chaplain, if you want to use your uh, motion tractor and see if there's anyone else between the containers or something. Yeah. That's we'll see what great. happens once you guys step out. Okay. And I'm going to say like through my teeth to you, that gun had better not go off on any of our friends again. <laughs> Combat starts with all great. of you in the APC. So get ready, boys. If you all would right click on the fist, the right click on the fist up on the top in the tab, it'll open up a okay. an initiative tracker that you all can watch. Okay. Ah, neat. Yeah, uh, that's spiffy. Yeah. That's neat. But I'm only showing two people there. We all need a roll. <clears throat> oh, um, uh, I don't know how to roll it. No, it's fine. I'll do it. It only it didn't add us all in for some reason. Yeah, it didn't add everyone in. It's fine. I'll add the rest of you in. We already got. We need Dante. We need. That's. So I got one, two, three. Why did it delete someone? This is being mad dumb. We got Hammer. Chaplin and the Majewski. Alright, so now I need to roll some more. Okay. Boy. Chaplain, you are up first. Since I'm kind of on a second second round here since we're waiting for our grenades to go off is there like delaying in action or, or do i just pass my turn for now you can delay your action yeah and it'll just move you lower in the initiative track mm. i don't know if i want to give up being first next turn or not though because <laughs> i assume that's like a permanent drop yeah uh i mean does the motion tracker get limited based on how many 
targets are at? Like, does it just show everything moving within range? It shows movement. Now, I got to tell you, it shows movement. So if someone is standing People still, camped out, yeah. not going to yep. show them. Right. So I'll keep an eye on the motion tracker if we want to call that my turn. So once people start going out to do their things, we'll probably see action from them. Okay. Sure. So you delay your turn. All right. That means next up is a Majewski. Uh, I'm, I will man the uh, face plasma pulse cannon turret and prepare for shit to go down. Okay. You delay your turn. Hammer. Um, is there a door? Oh gosh, the door's I, on the back. Uh, I would right here. I would say no. As the the picture is turned around, that's mm -hmm. the front that you just pinged, and the back mm -hmm. is that. So that's where you would exit. Okay. I would say that I do want the opening attack on us to be like doors fly open. We shoot the two grenades. I don't want anyone running out and drawing fire before that. Okay. Now, but once I'm gonna... again, the openings on the back. So where are you shooting your grenades? Yeah. If the openings, openings on the back. Yeah. yeah. The openings on the back. So, um, the, my grenade is going here. Okay. So you'll have to and then step around. Dante's the corner is and going shoot, here. And Dante will have to step around the corner and shoot. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, Hammer, are you just waiting? Yeah, I guess I'll just wait. Okay. No, fuck that. Fuck them. I'm Jeez. popping the doors open and coming around the corner. Like, God damn it, Hammer. Right here. Son of a... Sure. <sighs> you step out. You don't see anyone. As you move, you look around. All of a sudden, the... Batman appears, and that's it. Oh, no three insurgents who had delayed their turn as well. Oh. They hear the door open. They pop out a cover. Two of them don't see anything because you moved around the backside. This one, however, up on top of a crate is just maybe like 10 feet from you. Yeah, he is. As they, uh, with their, um, there we go. With their rifle. They open up fire, putting two points of damage on you. Now you uh, should have some armor. I have six yep. points of armor. Uh, one box. Okay, yeah, your armor soaks all of it. Nothing carries through. Then I'm going to unload with my smart gun at this guy. That... Um. So you moved out, you looked, you didn't see anything. As soon as your oh, turn okay. was over, oh, okay. they okay. had delayed. I got so you. then they took their actions directly after you. Mm -hmm. Now okay. the problem is, is now that your turn is over and then they delayed their turns, um... Two more get to take their turns. As this one steps around the corner and opens so is, fire. Is on this him. a wall here? Hang on a second, Joe. Uh, that's another two points of damage, unless you can armor soak that. Uh, um, are you try. talking about this here, Joe? Is, so is this like the curb and this is sidewalk? So this is sidewalk. Let me draw on the map here. Okay. Oh. And, okay, that's what I was trying to wrap. So the thicker, so this is like a wall here. No, that's right? curb. Oh, so okay. This curb, sidewalk, is and probably a wall around like short a short wall here. Like a waist high wall or something? Yeah. Okay. okay. This is curb. This is sidewalk. This is street. Okay. So hammer does that look here. like okay. This is like that a roof sense. over here. Uh this here the red. yeah. Uh no, the red is more sidewalk, it's just a oh, brick. Okay. But up here is but a roof. But up here and is up, a roof. And this and guy down is here is on the sidewalk. 
and then this dude up here is on the roof. Okay. So, okay. Uh, next. Got it. That second one is thicker one, than the, the, the curb. This yeah. dude steps out. Looks a little looks... different than the rest. Yeah. Uh, and he. Ooh, chucks a grenade. The Guardian Leviosa. But fucking whiffs it. Just sails <laughs> over you. Goes skidding into the street behind you. Pops harmlessly. Nice. Fuck him. Uh, now, Mason, you're oh, up. Can, can I make? God damn it, Hammer. Since... <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, yeah, damn. Fuck you. If you and uh, Zimajewski, now that Hammer's kind of fucked everything up, you guys could drop your turns in here if you want. Okay. Since I have That's the fun. motion tracker, would I have the ability to point out like one, two, three, four, five? Um. Like not not like elevation or anything like that since I can't see obviously but there's one over here there's one that way I'll like, tell you what the ones that make... moved so the it looks like yeah all of them uh, for this round if you do that anyone who takes a shot at any of them other ones will get a plus two bonus okay I'm fine if if that's my turn just coordinating yep yeah, that's what we'll do okay sweet. So that does that. So yeah, now you're you're up, Joe. Okay. I'm gonna get this one real quick. Bless you. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. So <laughs> Juicy Jake. Do you want to? Oh yeah, if you turn? wanted to do something, Jake. Uh, yeah, I'll um. Since I'm in the turret, uh, can I see the fellow who's standing on the red crate that uh, took a shot at uh, yes. Hammer? Yes, you can. I want to take a shot at him. Not, well, I want to take a shot at Hammer, but also the guy who shot Hammer. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. yeah. I mean, if you miss, she's... Oh, All right. fucking legal. Jesus Christ. That? Hell yeah. Kill so this you're thing. doing this with the <laughs> turret. That is one success. Oh, do you already wow. got that face plan? Uh... Yeah. I found it in the weapon uh, or the vehicle actually, weapon, so I just put it on my. Wait, doesn't he have a plus two to that, or is that just damage? The one that's on the APC uh, is at six damage, so you put six points of damage on this insurgent. Damn. Uh, they don't have any armor on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So that is immediately. Enough. Nope. Or they don't have a top of that crate. <laughs> uh, you shoot them. It's we're gonna call it. Uh, they're out of the combat, either way. But you blast them right in the face. Um, technically, in this, they're not uh, not like dead. What you? But also, they just took a plasma bolt to the face. Yeah. He it will be dead soon enough. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, Mason, now we get to you. Great. Uh, I'm going to pop out and try and take a shot at this guy. Actually, no, I was going to do this one. That was okay. the one I said. Yeah, that was the one yeah. you were. So, yeah, you step out. You're going to get a plus two on this shot thanks to Chaplin's assistance. Sweet. Um, I don't know how to add that to the rolls with the weapons. There's no good way to do it. So what you need to do is um, for your character, let me find your character. You're just going to need to take your oh, wait, ranged combat this. and just increase it by two for this. You're going to have to oh my gosh. roll me a stress. I have one point of stress. Yep. You should be All safe right. then, because it's going to roll real low on it. A three, that landed weird. You're keeping it together. Your stress doesn't fuck you up. So am I? I'm not able to push two because no, of that, right? You're not. Okay. All, All right. right, Dante. Okay, I'm gonna try and take out the legs of the fancy looking motherfucker. Over there. All right. So you also yeah. step around. 
for some reason. I if you right click on the weapon, it gives you a little window that lets you change the base oh, okay. modifier. Oh, nice. If you right click on the text of the weapon, not the image. Okay. So yeah, uh, Liz, if you want to have uh, Dante take that shot. Yeah, that's uh, I mean, yeah. two points of base damage, so you put three points of damage on that dude. Oh, are you going to use your rifle or your uh, grenade launcher? Oh, I was going to do the rifle. Oh, I was okay. going to just that's shoot fine. him in the legs. Cool. All right, three points of damage. Uh, he is still up, though. All right. Is it me? Give me just a second. Uh, yeah, then it goes back up to Hammer, because everyone else delayed their turn after you. Yeah, so I'm better than everybody else. There you go. I'm to bring the Hammer down. Yeah, okay, That's right. I'm going to... um, This guy right here. I'm going to unload my uh, smart gun into him. See how smart it really is. We get a modifier because Dan is helping us out, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, or was it just for that one turn? Oh, wait, this is a new... Yeah, this is a new round of combat. Okay, that's it? fine. Yeah, it is. We're at the top of the round. Holy shit, okay. that's a lot of dice. <laughs> uh, that's three, four, five damage. Five points of damage against which one? Uh, the guy that's right in front of me. Uh, this dude and here. A... And I am frozen by fear. Yeah, you get your shot off, but for yeah. some odd reason, yeah. Um, um, Jeez, buddy, why are you so stressed? Everyone who's in short range, um, I'm going to call that Dante... Hammer and Mason, all of you increase your stress by one. And yeah, Tyler, you're going to lose your next slow action. But uh, how much was that? Five damage? Three, four, five? Uh, three, four, five. Yep. Uh, that is. I like the symbol. Yeah. The scream. Yeah. Which one are you? That is enough to drop that one. All right. Oh, fuck him. Uh, did I? Okay. Which one is? Oh, it's this one. This one up on the roof. Um, he is going to. He can't get line of sight on any of you. Uh, so he's just going to take pot shots at the UPC, but his small arms fire just harmlessly, you know, ping, ping. pelts. Yeah. Uh, that dude's out. This dude is going to run up and rather than trying to engage any of you on the outside, he's actually going to run up in the ramp and he is just going to open fire on those of you inside of it. So I'm going to roll a D4 because um, there is Iona, there is Silva, there is Wright. I'm going to have to roll more than a D4. Chaplin and Zamajuski. I'm going to roll a D6. Uh, that was uh, Zamajuski. He runs up and he's going to take a shot at you. Dingus. Uh, and that is going to put down uh, three points of damage. You should have armor on, so you can roll your armor. Yes. Uh, roll it. Or, or not, I guess. What? Uh, if you click uh, on the word armor down on the bottom on the, left. Yeah, bottom left on the front page. Ah, uh, okay. On our general tab, I should there say. There we go. Yeah, right under consumables, yeah. No, man, you're going to take... Oh, no, you got a success. Uh, so that reduces it down to two points of armor. Or uh, two points of damage. Yeah, right. All right. 
Does that uh, reduce my armor as well? Uh, I believe, yeah, it'll reduce your armor by one. Yeah. Uh, let's see, actually. No, he's down. This dude kind of starts flanking around, uh, and he's going to take a shot at Dante. Uh, oh, actually, no, he's not. He's going to lob another grenade right at the group of you. God, but he whiffs it. It just goes wide. Does not fucking connect with anything. Now, Chaplain, one thing you need to know is one of these insurgents actually ran up in the UPC. Or APC. And started okay. firing shots at uh, Zmjewski. Because I say that because it is now your turn, Chaplain. Okay, well. I guess the easy thing is to try and shoot him back. Sure. You got your gun, um, make your shot. Yeah, let me find where my character sheet's hiding from me. If you double click uh, on your token on the map, it'll open your character sheet. Oh, well shit. There we go. Uh, three points of damage. Doesn't have any armor, so he takes that three. It's not enough to drop him, though. Okay. Zabajewski. I might try and uh, take some cover or something in there. Okay, yeah. Juice is loose. <clears throat> what are you going to do, Jake? Um, how does the uh, the internals of this ABC work as far as turret control? Like, is it just like a periscope type deal? Uh, like I imagine it's a... Um, it's more of a, a console that you can set at. So it's got a camera oh, okay. up on the turret. So you're just setting at a station inside of this thing, operating like a console. So Okay. And uh, I'll just... I'll draw my trusty sidearm because it's faster than reloading and okay. then I'll shoot at the guy. Sure. You pull your pistol, you take your shot. Ooh, oh, that's frick. one point of damage and you need to roll me stress. That one point's not enough to drop him. One more second. Oh, you're keeping it together, man. Oh. Don't worry, though. Alright, Mason. Alright, um... I'm going uh, to try and launch a grenade at Thalmar-looking dude. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's do... MBZ. Uh, let's see if any of these hit. Hey, there we go. Gee, money. So nine damage. A grenade launcher with nine damage. He does have some armor. Nope, no, he doesn't. You fucking obliterate this dude. It's just a <laughs> splat of blood on the fucking pavement. Well, hopefully that wasn't the important one to talk to after this, but um well, you uh, know, some of them have pictures that are identical and one of them did not. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty identical to two others right now. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you take your shot, passing the turn to Dante. Liz, what the fuck are you doing? You're muted. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. You go. uh, um, I think I'm just going to try and pop up and shoot the guy that's uh, in the APC. APC? Sure. APC? What the fuck you want to call it? APC. You move around back. You got a good shot on him. Olsen? Fuck. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> two, three, me. four, five. <laughs> five points of damage. Yeah, you fucking obliterate this dude. Uh. All right, one is left. I give Dante a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, that's right. You two are buddies. Uh, let me check something real quick. <laughs> Where am I at? Here I am. I need to be... Oh, I'm in the wrong thing. All right, cool. Uh, Hammer. I do not have a slow action this round. That's right. Your turn is up. Nah. It, 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 what? It, it. You can move. I'm going to come over here. 
I kind of can see him like he's on the yeah, roof. Yeah, he's on the roof. Yeah. I'm going to shout out him. You saw what we did to all your friends. Um, it, the smart move here is to drop your weapon. Manipulation test. Um, I'm going to use my strength manipulate uh, because I am menacing. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's an ability you got. Um, which I think is just a strength. As Hammer is rolling this, seeing Hammer's name reminds me, uh, everyone make sure you check every now and then to see if your agendas or story cards have changed. Now, Hammer, that is a success. You do manage to um, get his attention. I am going to roll. Oh, God, another six on stress. Seek cover, dude. You got to run and hide on your next turn. All right, well... Um, he's going to roll a manipulation as well. Uh, you got one. He got one. I'll say you're going to win in this tie. Uh, he doesn't want to die. Good. Fucking what is Mark doing? <laughs> he's breaking shit. <laughs> Fucking Christ. All right. Hey, everyone has to have a turn tonight, right? I fucked things up before the stream. You're fucking things up during the stream. All right. This dude drops his gun. I am going to roll another test. I'm going to see. Uh, I want to roll an empathy test for him. I want to roll a wits test. I like that better. If he fails, he's going to try and run away. If he succeeds, he's going to put his hands up and he's going to surrender. He fails. He's going to try and run. So, eh, I tried. he moves off. If you all want to give chase, he's on a roof, but we can play it by ear if you want to. Chaplin. Is he, is he within range of my uh, uh, grenade launcher? If you move, I'll say <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah. Chaplin gets to go. You're muted. I think there's still a guy in here, right? There's one dude. No, he's up on the roof running away from you all. No, the guy in the APC is he's dead. dead. Oh no, I oh, I, I, okay. I I'm very well shot him. Well, I might uh I don't think I'm in a position to run out and pursue anybody reasonably so, but we've got a couple of people of interest still in the APC. So I may wait here and send people who are outside after him. Sure. Uh, so you're just waiting here, telling people to go get them. Is that what I'm catching? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm still in the APC, so. Okay. Um. Another secret roll. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? You want to kill us all? Um. That's always his end goal. Give me just secret. a moment. Absolutely not. Uh, who's next? Jake, you're up. <clears throat> uh, Chaplain, can I get that motion tracker? Chaplain, you can freely hand it over. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the motion tracker, head out of the APC, and then try to chase after the escapee. So, yeah, you grab the motion tracker. Using that, uh, you can you can easily chase them down. Um, you can give me a mobility test because I'm going to have you hop up on that shipping container. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. How'd you do? Oh, you did good. Yeah, you make it up there. Um, Mason, you're up. If you want to move your, use right. your movement, you can get over here and you can take an arcing shot. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. All right. No. Uh, yeah, you're going to hit. One success. I'll tell you what. I am going to roll an injury for him. You need to give me a 
uh, stress roll, though. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Trimble, you start trembling Jesus. uncontrollably. Uh, you're going to take negative two to agility until your panic stops. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, you don't see him, but you can hear the boom and you hear the scream. You know you hit him. <laughs> uh, at this point, we're going to move out. Uh, Does my motion or... tracker pick him up now? <laughs> the motion tracker stops. <laughs> we're going to move out of combat here. Jake, you can I... easily then climb up on this building. And you see him lying on the ground with a bit of shrapnel, like a chunk of concrete sticking out the side of his neck oh. as blood oh. is just boiling out of his mouth leaking out of the hole in his neck uh you can see him going pale go and give me uh take a point of stress for me that seems as you, fair as you watch this man bleed out in a matter of moments in front oh. of you he's dead did i get him <laughs> Well, I'm not picking him up. <laughs> and I'll wave uh, the motion tracker in the air. All and right. I went ahead, and I went ahead and revealed the critical injury that you got on him, Joe. Uh, ruptured Ruptured aorta. aorta. Oh, oh my God. Fatal in one round? Yep. <sighs> but it's okay. Right, He'll, he, he can heal him in eight days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you're all kind of reconvening back at the UPC... Uh, you hear a uh, crackle, a little bit of hiss on your comms, and all of a sudden the voice of Eckford comes back through. So, you've got one of them in your custody now. Two of them are dead. This third or final one, it is very important that I get her alive. I'll tell you what, the offer still stands. You capture her, I'll get you off this rock, I'll get you well paid, and I'll get you some really cushy security jobs for a whale in Utani. You'll be set up for life. Go fuck yourself. Oh That's, wait, no, we're uh, supposed to be helping her. Never mind. Never mind. No, no, this is this is the this is the whale in Utani guy. We don't like him. Oh wait. Right, but remember we're pretending to. Yeah. So oh, I'm okay. gonna say I uh, Yeah. Uh, now I I like the Dante your immediate knee jerk yeah. reaction. Uh, yeah, she's I just didn't... like uh, <laughs> no! as you immediately go, well go fuck yourself. Well that's too bad. I hope our uh, I hope our paths don't cross on unfriendly terms. And then the comms go silent. God damn it! Well so you can all spend a few minutes dragging these crates out of the way. And then yep. you're free to continue your path. Is that what you do? Well, Dante um, would kind of sit back a little bit because I'm not feeling too great. I okay. want to, I want to search and see if they had like any, anything on them or like any base setup, some so, form of, especially around the guy that looked different. Like, I will go I'm ahead. Anything? Uh, yeah, searching through everyone. Let me find you, Joe. Are we in what would we consider a safe area right now? Right now, I'll say you guys can take your few minutes. You can. Uh, Reduce Great. your stress, and you can drop your uh, panic conditions. If he's got a multi-pass on How him. much can we drop our stress? I'll tell you what. I'll let you drop Just it like all the one... way. Oh, thank God. Okay. Cool. So, Joe, if you look yep. on your character sheet's active uh, inventory, you find he's got a comm on him. A military s comm, but it is not tuned in to your military bands this looks like it's a upp comm device okay convenient uh Please. that's awesome um definitely holding on to that um is Waylon yutani allied with upp Waylon yutani well? is uh, allied with Waylon yutani yeah they're okay. They're a third party in this altogether. They have been both friend and foe to United Americas during the oil wars. Um, okay. They take the side of profit. Do they operate as kind of like a, their own like 
nation. Yeah, I mean, these mega corporations essentially, you know, out here, um, they've got their own swaths of space. They operate with their own autonomy. Um, there's a governing board that kind of is supposed to make sure everyone respects everyone else's rights. And Waylon like Utani is UN. kind of like that, yeah. Uh, Waylon Utani doesn't, uh, you know, they play by the rules when it's convenient for them. Waylon Utani okay. is Russia. Uh, well, actually, UPP is Russia. Oh, okay. Well, Waylon Utani is China then. Yeah, uh, I think actually Japan is more along the lines. Oh, okay. It's uh, I shared at one point of you a history sheet that's got yeah. information on everything. And Weyland Yutani, um, I think it, it's Japan and someone else. It was two separate. It was the Weyland Yu Corporation and the Yutani Corporation that merged together to become Weyland Yutani, or maybe it's three. It's the try some anyway. Whatever the case. And yeah. I would say just real quick, since we're in a safe space and. We're about two hours in. Are we wanting to yeah, we can take a break? Take a break. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to take a little break, stretch our legs a little bit. Um, I don't fucking know. We'll be back in a few minutes for some more of this as, uh, you know, you all guys, you're, you're all of you are very successfully uh, not taking, um, you know, captives. So congrats. And we'll be back in uh, just a few. I need to get the transition over so I did they just... all i thought the a few of them weren't like outright killed uh when we come back i'll give you guys a chance uh you know a luck check to to see if any of okay. them survived uh so yeah we will be i gotta put us on the break slide that's it we'll be right back don't fucking go anywhere
Hey, uh, we're back. Uh, Liz went to go pick something up real quick, so she'll be back here in hopefully like five minutes. Uh, but we're gonna keep on going. Uh, Joe, uh, let me take yes. us back. We're still on ambush. I'm gonna take us back to the ambush. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I was curious to see if any of them were still alive because there were a few that we didn't outright. Let me. I want to roll a. I do the bad real quick. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Uh, one of them is still alive and conscious enough. This is the uh, okay. the first dude that uh, Hammer shot and mm. dropped him. He's down. Uh, this guy? Yep. Okay. Cool. But, uh, um, yeah, insurgent number two. Great. Is, uh... oh, real fast, we have a, an insult has been redeemed. Oh, shit. Who wants me to insult them? Oh, shit, it's Irene. Irene! Great to have you here. Irene! <laughs> how can I insult you, Irene? Oh, my gosh. Here's the problem, though. So far, hanging out with Irene, I haven't really found anything that makes it easy for me to insult. Um, Irene, it's great to hang out with you, but it does make me a little uncomfortable, the fact that you're 12 years old. Because... Um, you look like a fucking child. Um, I really hope that you have a lot of luck on the uh, kickball field. And uh, go get him, champ! Go get him, champ! <laughs> go get him, champ. Um, I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know. I don't really have anything good to. Irene, go fuck yourself and the fucking uh, horse that you rode in on. Uh, because I have a feeling that secretly you were a horse collaborator and, um, uh, when the, 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 the horse, horse revolution horse. comes, uh, I think you're going to choose the wrong side. A horse conspirator. Horse conspirator. Anyway, Irene's setting this adventure out because, horse uh, sympathizer. Yeah. Irene yeah. had some, uh, she had some of her own shit kind of going on during this and she has watched us play through this uh scenario before so once we're done with this scenario we're going to kick into a full aliens campaign and irene will be rejoining us which will be one good. of us once again yeah and so i hope that works as an insult irene uh you look like a fucking child <laughs> all right um... which wouldn't be so bad except that chuck looks like a creepy uncle I do. I so do. it's just kind of... Hmm. It's a bad combination. Yeah, we can't have that vibe. All, All right. right. So, yeah, he's out. He's alive. Uh, and, Joe, cool. you can end your panic. Or, Tyler, yeah, you can end I think, your panic. I think I did already. Uh, I did on my character shit. I don't know why I still have the thing over my face. Oh, I got you. Yep. Um... Yeah, uh, main thing I'm curious on getting out of them is if this was just like a random setup or if they knew we were coming. Like, basically how much info they had before this fight. So, um... And I'm going to lead in... Um, Punch. Assuming that he did that know he that we were going to be here. Yeah. You fucking, uh, you fucking UA scum. I ain't telling you shit, not after what you've done to our colony. Uh, is there a, is it manipulation? Manipulate. Yeah. If you want to give me like an intimidate, yeah. Are we out like, outright like at war with insurgency people? Uh, you are outright at war with UPP. And the insurgents have aligned with UPP. So yes. So yes. Yes, but with extra steps. Okay. Uh, um, you do you want to push that? Not really. Okay. Yeah, he. Not on fucking spits uh, at you like I ain't one. telling you shit anyone else want to have a go at him see if uh, we can figure out what he knew before this little 
meetup started. Hammer, I hate your fucking guts, but uh, I think you might yeah. get something out of them. I think I might um, use some uh, aggressive persuasion. Sure. Go ahead and give um, me. Uh, you've got a. You got to use close combat for this. I think it's strength specifically. Okay. Go ahead and give me a strength test. Let me make sure it's not because if it's close combat, it's way better for me. Yeah. For what strength. it's worth, I want to keep a close eye on our uh, people in the APC in case anybody's getting a little restless in their chest area. Yeah. Uh, that was not supposed to be 10 dice. <laughs> it only gave us five. I don't know what the fuck happened. It was did five it twice. twice. I must've oh. double clicked it or something. Yeah. yeah, you did. The first one you failed. I'll push it then. All right. You still failed, man. Yeah. All right, well, um, why did it roll three? I don't yeah, know. I don't know. What, I think I must. I really just could well, not. you pushed your roll above it that had two successes, didn't no, you? No, no, no. I, I pushed the roll that had no successes. Well, it probably it still pushed like it yeah. probably I'll still pushed what, the other roll. You were supposed to have five dice on that. I don't know what's going on with your character sheet. I'm going to roll this for you. Just two, just well, roll I mean, two more d6. I say you could just take the second roll as the push, it, it'd be five dice all the same. That's all true. Right. That's fine. All right. Yeah. I, um, yeah. Still nothing right, with well, that push. I've tried everything I know, and I'm all out, of, all out of ideas. I think it's time for the belt to do some talking. Zemajuski, you've been called. Ooh. I think. Um, I think uh, instead of the belt. No, not instead of the belt. I'm going to. Uh, um, use the uh, the self defense splice buckle on my belt to uh, pull out the concealed pocket knife on it. Okay. And then I'm just going to uh, take that pocket knife and uh, I think I'll just place it on his junk. All right. And I'll just kind of keep it there and say, all right, um, just. Give me a, Tell me something interesting or I'll make your the rest of your life hell. Give me a manipulate plus one. That is just uh, ordinary manipulate. So I can roll an extra d6 for you. I got a roll. Sure, I got one here. Oh, okay. Oh. Now, do you want to push? Sure. Go ahead and hit that push button. And I'll roll you an extra D6, because you get an extra D6 with it. Oh Fuck. My gosh. He is just laughing at all of you as you try to scare him. Jake, you need to give me stress. This is fucking embarrassing. It is. Keeping it together, though. All right. Well, like, fucking do your worst. I'm not a goddamn traitor. Eh, fair enough. I'll put the knife back in the belt, and then I'll just... Go try to get some healing because <laughs> I am fucked up. <laughs> sure, uh, your side arm Chaplain, you're the you're kind of the healer of the group. Oh, okay. If you want to give I a mean, medical test, yes, I am. Uh, I'll I'll hit you with some. Okay, healing, maybe. Play on hands, Jake. You gotta heal two points. Hey, our dear friends at the Lollygaggers are rating hey. us with a party of eleven. Do we want me to come oh, out and give this one more shot here real quick to interrogate this guy? Hey, Jeff. No, I think we've embarrassed ourselves too much. I think we just... I mean, what's one more embarrassment? I don't feel any shame. The uh, I mean, yeah. crew's trying to interrogate an insurgent, and the insurgent is just embarrassing them. Shit, there's some names there. Oak, Melissa. Uh, I don't know who Lol Mongardi is. I don't know. Uh, Bartox? LOL Monogatari. Yeah. Hello, El Monogatari. Good thing you know it. Oh, shit. Kyrian's dropping some bits on oh, us. Shit. 100 bits. Remove a stress from one player. Dan, you don't have any stress, so who would you like to volunteer, Dan? Well, I figured my buddy. Who's your buddy? Mason, Joe. Joe, you get to drop oh. a stress. Sweet. Dan, did you want to roll a uh, manipulate test for me? I hey, do. And there's just, Ashley. Just to, like, give it a little extra flavor and because... Situation being as it is, 
I'm basically just kind of like, we got to walk out there and I'm just going to take the smart gun I have and just fire a few rounds into the ground as I'm walking towards it and then take it and just put it onto his head. <laughs> so what Which did you pick up, a gun? I still have my smart gun. All right, give me yeah, a we give him back a couple plus one. Uh, Seth, I totally dig. Drop out if you're going to be watching. You don't want spoilers. And uh, thanks for that follow. That is fantastic. And if I remember correctly, did you just join? You just joined our Discord, too. So thanks for that. It's the uh, best place if you want to hang out with us and the lollygaggers. I fear I'll walk up there, just fire a few rounds on the ground, and just put the burning hot barrel right onto his forehead. <laughs> sure. Classic. Try this one last time. Uh, so that's an AK-407 or something like that, if you want to add it to your it's, inventory. It's the, the smart gun. Oh, you're using your smart gun? Oh, okay, okay. Yep, yep. Um. So I'll, I'll just fire us a few rounds and walk on up to him and see if he feels like say anything. And he sure doesn't. So I'm just going to kill him. Okay. You're just going to blast Start him the in the head. It on too. Yep. Roll your attack, man. I mean, I assume since I have zero successes also, <laughs> I don't want him to laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, dude, you fucking splatter his bla brains against the ground. Uh, once again, the rest of you um, kind of catches you off guard. The simple fact that uh, Chaplin is a synth, and synths aren't supposed to be able to hurt people. Wait, what? Hmm. Chaplin's a synth? Yeah. Yeah, we've known that from the beginning. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Apparently not a very good one, but... All right. He was a robot the whole time. Oh my god. So, uh, yeah, you don't successfully interrogate anyone uh you pile oh. back into your apc i'll turn my gun back over you hand a gun back over give me just a second to check Agility. something yep um give me a moment i do not know so, how to delete things out of my inventory yet so i just am deactivating it that's that's fair that's the best way to do it yeah. If we get into another fight, then you're getting it back anyways. <laughs> Give me my gun it's privileges not again. Imminent, it's not imminent combat. I uh, don't trust whatever's yeah, going on. Some people kind of showed up dead and shouldn't have been. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't get to have one until we get your wiring checked. Okay, back in the APC you go, finally making your way to the insurgents compound. Put everyone back on the colony map, knowing that you are traveling to the X in the West District. I'm surprised we're still in Act 1. I feel like we're... You're still in Act 1. Act 1's a long oh, one. Must be getting close, though. As you all approach, you see a... Where it was indicated on your map, you see a two-story building with what looks like a large kind of like satellite dish on the, um, the roof. But the thing about this thing is it's surrounded by a... A wall. Like a uh, probably like an eight foot stone wall, like prefab wall, um, and there's a front gate on it that opens up kind of into a courtyard, and it's kind of it's almost kind of like uh, it's a real weird kind of trapezoid kind of shape. Is that uh, gate shut? Shame. I assume. Yeah. Okay. It's a um, iron gate. Go ahead, Joe. Question: Does right have columns? Uh, right would let me check and see what right's got on her because I wouldn't want them to. Uh, oh, and now this, nice. since this is the first time I thought of it, I want to make sure they don't have any comms. Uh, no, right does okay. not have comms. If you disarmed right at the beginning, right had an RMAT yeah, M42A uh scoped rifle, a combat knife. In a G2 electroshock grenade. She had uh, four of them. Okay. 
Um, are those anti personnel or anti like vehicle? Grenades are. Let's see, electro electronic breakers. Okay, they're just like little EMP things. Um, Percel themselves about three foot off the ground, releasing a mega voltage electric pulse. Non lethal shock, strong enough to freeze persons in place. Good for crowd control. So if we told Chad, oh, I want to one play of those. Hot potato with those. Uh, yeah, it's. I want to carry one of those on me. Okay. Uh, electronic ball breakers is what they're called. Yeah, they just three foot area. Like a stun. Okay. Yeah, just Blast. stun grenades. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um. So they wouldn't have heard the the Eckhart or whatever no. Wayland broadcast. No, they don't have the, the okay, calm pieces good. in their ear that you've got. just want to make sure they didn't because that would uh, not be good if she heard that. Um, okay, so this is where we think the last guy is. This is the compound that dude in the hospital pointed you to. Okay. So, what's up? Um, First, I'd like to address the uh, the group. Uh, I'd like to say that everybody here is an asshole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fair. And frankly, they can suck it. Fair. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we're also caught up in a hell of a lot of a bigger deal than any Marines that's ever been in before us. And we might be feeling some pressure to go one way or another, but I would like to say, if we go as a team, you've got me, you've got the belt. Let's stick together on everything, and we're going to make it through this A-OK. Hoorah. Unless Chaplin kills us. No promises. And also, Hammer, go fuck yourself. On it, sir. I love it. Love it. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan? I am going to switch us over to the Insurgent Compound map. Um, do any of these buildings have, like... It's one building. So oh, bottom left is the ground. You can see the fence level and the house itself. Uh, and then the map. You know, you wouldn't actually be able to see the interior of it, but there's not a lot of, you know, spoilers. Right. There's a ground floor, a second floor, and then a roof. So it's a two-story, small, rectangular, you know, uh, concrete kind of building. <gasps> they have a couch. Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> couch. It's a, nice it's a section uh, even. Yeah. Those bastards. Um, do I want we that couch. think we should try and take out their comms? Do we have any weapons that could reach? So this is like known to be an insurgent compound. It's it's the 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 it's dude in the hospital told you that's where they were taking Wojcik to trade off with the UPP. You don't know shit okay. about this place except for what that person told you, or told the rest of the the crew. Told uh, okay, uh, Zmjuski, Hammer, and Dante. Um, All right. Um, we, would so, our uh, like uh, APC be able to shoot that satellite dish? Yeah, the APC's got that turret on it. You'll have to back up a little bit so you can get a clear shot over the wall. But yeah, you could take out that dish. I'll just need some. I would want to coordinate that at the same time that we throw a grenade into the guard shack. Okay. Uh, that's going to be roughly, what is that? That's going to be a two, four, six, eight, roughly 10 meters. Meters about three feet. So, what is that, like 30 feet? Yeah, you could toss it that far. Okay. So yeah, first I want to toss off, one of those sun grenades. Who's in shooting there. and who's throwing? I should probably um, shoot. Through. All right. So hammer, you run over to the turret. Joe, you're throwing oh, the grenade. Yep. Yeah. All right. I want you both to give me a mobility test to see if you can do this 
in a way where you're you're not a ranged combat. Nope. Mobility to see if you two can get your time shit coordinated coordinate. enough to have your attacks land oh, at the same okay, time. Okay, okay. So okay. hammer you pass. Hmm. Was that a push? That was a push. Okay, cool. Yeah. You both pass. So sure enough, the shot fires off, the grenade goes through the gr yard. Tyler, you're going to roll me a uh, heavy combat or heavy ranged. And Joe, you're going to roll me that grenade. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the grenade has anything specific to it. I didn't have it on my inventory. Because um, I didn't oh, find it yet. How do I get it from inactive to active weapon? Right click or left click on the picture. Left yeah. click on the picture. There we if go. If it's at the bottom, left click on it. If it's at the top, right click on it. Yeah, it's a silly sheet. Well, one success is probably enough for a satellite dish. <laughs> at six damage, yeah, I would hope. Okay, yeah. Uh, you take the satellite dish off. Joe, you passed your grenade. Yeah, with two successes. I didn't sure. Need to... I'll go right. ahead and okay. tell I you. I roll again by accident. The two guards that were in the shack. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give it their stunt. Okay. Oops. Great. Let's uh, run in and incapacitate them. Sure. So you throw the gate open. You're all moving in formation. And as you do, um, you're I'll quickly... I'll stay back because I haven't been given a gun back. Okay. <laughs> greeted by the fact that... Uh, oh, I, I would have given you a gun as soon as we got to the compound. Okay. Okay. That that was not... They had other guards in the yard as well. Okay. So let me get some tokens on the map so we can roll some initiative dante hammer uh, there's five of you four of them i want to add all of you to the initiative track i fucking hate initiative <laughs> And we're going to reset. And I'm just going to roll a bunch of fucking initiatives, and I'm going to assign them in alphabetical order going down the list. I wish it would roll faster, too. So they're all going to show up as this insurgent. Don't worry about that. How many of you are there? One, two, three, four. There's going to be nine of you. Oh my gosh, it's so fucking slow. Is it a function of the 3D dice or is it just slow normally? It's just rolling off of the random table. It's just fucking slow. Mm. All right. Uh, five. Eight, and the last one got a two. Cool. Gosh, I go first again? You go first again, man. How does this keep happening? I don't fucking know. So, yeah, Chaplin, you're up first. I mean, uh... You gonna run in and start firing? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you uh we'll we'll use these roughly. It's not exactly to scale, but you know, buck pasta. You run in. Do you have a preference on which one you take your first shot at? Um if they look all the same as each other, then I'll just pick 
whoever's closest. Okay. Let's just say, let's just say this guy. Sure. Yeah. You put uh, three points of damage on that. Uh, your gun is a base three. You got an extra. You put four points of damage. They are still up. Uh, next up, uh, this insurgent is going to open fire on you. Yeah, that's that's a mistake going in first, but it yeah, shit happens. Uh, and that is going to be two points of damage. You don't have any armor on, so you're going to take both of that. Ouchies. Uh, Liz is up. Liz isn't here, so I'm going to autopilot. Liz Liz is going to run in. Liz is going to take a shot randomly at... I can move this back to public rolls. To the lowest one. Liz is going to take a shot with her pulse rifle. Uh, that is two points of damage. Do you want Liz to push that or no? Um, she doesn't have any stress, so I mean, all right. Her. Uh, that bumped us up to two successes, so three points of damage on this one. They're still up. All right. Next up, hammer. What are you going to do, Tyler? Um, I'm going to come in here. Uh, these guys have been... These lower guys that they've been shot at? This one up top has been shot, and the furthest one down low has been shot. Well, this guy right here is closest to me. Yep. So that's what I'm going to turn my smart gun on to. Sure. Oh, that's yeah. a lot of fucking dice. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's going to be closest. four points of damage. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, that's going to be enough to drop them. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, uh, this insurgent's got a choice of three. I'm just going to roll a d6. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. They're going to shoot at Dante. Uh, but it's a miss. Zamajuski. I'm going to run up in there. <clears throat> I'm going to pick one. Uh, I'm going to pick one at random. Okay. I will take the one that's actually closest to me. Cool. And I will that fire was... away with my uh, pulse rifle. Sure. Uh, that is going to be gonna... two points of damage. Do you want to push that? Yeah, I'm going to push it. Sure. I'm a mad lad. Um, yes. You're still going to get your... Wait a minute. How are you like... Oh, it didn't count the success there. It's, right. You're going to... Yeah, we're going to count that as... Uh, still two points I... of damage. You need to roll stress for me. I don't know why, but what it seems to do when you push it is like your initial success die is removed from the pool. Yeah, and I don't, I'll yeah. need to read the rule on that to see if I that's... I think that's how it's supposed to work. But... Okay. Well, that's not how we're playing it at the moment. So you're keeping it together. You uh, nerves a stealer in check, but just uh, just barely, man. Uh, all right. Mason, you're up. All right. Um... So, does the grenade launcher have AOE? Yeah. Because I'm going to hit these two then. The two lower? Okay. Yep. You can run in, take your shot. If you aim at the farthest one, you feel comfortable you won't hit Zemajuski or Dante. Uh, 10 cool. damage. Um, so, I'm going to say that's going to drop both of them, man. All right. Moving us back up to Chaplin. One is left. Uh, let me see if I can like try and uh, take him out somehow. Like tech, disarm him. Is there a way to, like disarm? Uh, yeah. If you want to make a close combat test, okay. you just have to pull really hard at the wrist. 
You got two successes. They're also going to make a close combat test. Damn it. Three successes, man. You huh. almost get it, but they, they keep a hold of their gun. Uh, so, Liz, <laughs> you this was my trading. <laughs> you all made it to this insurgent compound. You're storming the gates. Uh, okay. You put some shots on one of them. Um, Liz, how's Dante feeling? It's not feeling too good. Kind of in some pain. Kind of out of breath a little bit. Okay. Cool. So uh, let's see, Chaplain, you did not succeed on disarming that not. one. Um, it's now that person's turn. Uh, they are going to uh, just point blank unload their gun at you. I hope somehow it doesn't work. <laughs> We're going to find out. That is two points of damage, man. I'm still in it. Okay, and remind you, since you're a synth, uh, you got to get uh, machinery test, I think, or comtech test if you want to get repaired. Yeah, I have a uh, personal med kit. I'm not sure if that, or I have an electronics toolkit. Electronics which... toolkit is what you would yeah. use to to patch yourself up. Uh, Liz, it's Dante's turn. One of these insurgents is still up. Well, let's say we're. I just as soon assume I'm just going to shoot at him. Sure, go ahead and make me that test. How'd you do? Um, I got three successes. Four. Three I successes? To... What's your base damage? Two. Two? So that is going to be uh, four damage. I'm also very stressed. Oh, Ooh, no. nervous twitch. You're going to take a negative two. Uh, your stress level and the stress level of all friendlies in short range increased by one. Oh, okay. You don't take any long term, but everyone, I want to say everyone, go ahead and increase your stress by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you dealt, what was that? Two, three, four damage. Uh, that's the first damage this one has taken, so they are still up. Hammer, you're up. Uh-huh. I am up. Uh, did, you, did just the one guy? Yep. All right. Uh, he is going to get a smart gun into the face. Sure. Oh, like, God uh, damn. Yeah, nothing's quite like rolling 14 dice. Yeah, you just dice. fucking obliterate this dude. I'm going to okay. shout to Zajewski. I want to see your belt do that. Uh, and that right there, Zajewski. at least for now, is going to be the end of our combat. I think I might have to retire to the APC to fix myself up here. Uh, do you want to take a moment to uh, go retreat and heal up? Because I got to I won't let Chaplin set out. Oh, okay. Um, if you're all right with me taking a quick break, I don't need to go to the APC to do it then. But... Yeah. Do well, you want to give Chaplin a moment so he can patch himself up? Yeah, absolutely. Secure the area. So yeah, roll me a contact. Nobody... Get, uh... um, yeah, we're going to need to finish off the, the two guards that I stunned. Oh, yeah. Those were hey, those Briar ones. Club. Thanks yeah, for hanging fight, out. But they'll wake up eventually. If you guys want to deal with that, I'll uh, try and fix myself up here. You know what, Prior Club? I was thinking yep. about getting my pipe going. My goodness. Well, with you here, only got two out of that. I think it's fucking mandatory. Uh, yeah, you, you recovered two points of uh, trauma. Or damage, or whatever you want to call it. Health. Maybe when this is club. done, I can apply some more fixing later. Briar Club, yep. I'm going to be smoking on my uh, Chacom Chacom Regate. I don't know how you fucking pronounce it. It's like French or some shit. Uh, and I'm going to be smoking uh, Lane's Burly Light Without a Bite. Yep. I'll ask that someone come with me to the guard shack and we can uh, clear it. 
Yeah, I'll go help him out. Finish off the two guys in there. Um, okay. See if there's any way to open up the next gate. Uh, yeah, you go into the guard shack. There is a uh, button to open up the next gate. Two unconscious guards. Um, they're both, uh, if you want to loot them, they're both armed with an AK-4047 pulse assault rifle and an M4A3 service pistol. Okay. Each insurgent has those. Okay. Uh, do any of them have grenades or anything? Negative. Okay. Nope. Uh, I think we're good on that. Um, yeah. I'll use their weapons to or their pistol. I'll like grab one of their pistols and put a shot into both of them to keep them from waking up. Okay. Uh, Joe, you're the only one who moved up there, but executing two dudes like that, uh, you're going to take a point of stress. Uh, I would have brought someone with me. I went with them. Sure. Okay. The both yeah. of you take that point of oh, stress. Take stress. <laughs> Yeah. Sharing the wealth. Oh, it's Briar Cub. I thought it was Briar Club. My bad on the name. That's but if you're putting fine. Briar, I presume you're meeting a Briar pipe. Is that what pipes are made out of? That sounds right. Is it? I'm able to use my signature item, right? Probably, maybe. I think that's a hard yeah. wood. I'm a stare at my signature item I sure you take that. a moment you can reduce your stress by one sweet all right okay so you're looking at this house that they the dude said was the compound are there any lights on in it yeah is there a breaker panel on the outside uh i want you to give me a comm tech Yeah. Uh, what you rolled a com tech? Chaplin rolled a com tech. But Joe, you were looking for it and you don't find it. Okay. Um. Anyone know com tech? Well, Dan, mm -hmm. Chaplin rolled it, so I'll let uh, Chaplin come up and. Oh no, that was your healing com tech, wasn't That's it? That's my healing. I can right. roll it again though. Uh, if anyone else, if uh, Joe Mason relays uh, what's going on. Yeah, I'd like to. Someone else can roll com tech knock power out before we go in dang my goodness it must they be buried it well. underground <laughs> they've got generators yeah you're not able to find a breaker panel okay at least on the outside so it must be one on the inside or something All right. okay so you cool. find the uh, only door the front door how do you want to do this um, uh, I know how these doors you use work. your motion tracker, Chaplin. Do you see anyone? You'd have to um, open the door and go in because the way the motion trackers else. work is uh, micro differences in pressure. Um, oh, so you have to be in the same kind of in the same airspace, yeah. Okay. So the, the reason why it works in like the movies is because all that grading and stuff, it's still, you know, you can't visibly see it, but it's still technically in the same airspace. Sure. That's why it wouldn't work inside the APC. But as soon as the APC's door was open, it started working. Okay. Um, so could we open the door uh, to the ground floor? Sure. Who wants to open and then it? it? And then it works. Not sure. Uh, I'll do I don't want to open it. Does it open out or in? Pushes in. Pushes in. Mm -hmm. I'll run at it. Just shoulder first. Or is it like a sliding sci-fi door? Uh, it uh, it pushes in. It's not super sci-fi. Okay. Uh, hammer. You gotta give me a stress roll, man. I was not successful at pushing that door open. Everyone go ahead and take another point of stress. <laughs> yeah. But I'll tell you what, we're going to say that you do manage to open the door, uh, but it doesn't open far as it pushes into a someone lying on the ground on the other side of the door. 
and you kind of you give it another push you kind of open yourself expose yourself a little bit but as you do open it you see that in this kind of like foyer um you see three corpses on the ground Ooh. and kind of looking around the room you see there are stairs kind of immediately to the right going up and straight across there's a door uh, going into like the studio area of the apartment um these three bodies are mangled and twisted up uh, and looking around this foyer room you can see it's just riddled with bullet holes there's still guards outside yeah how peculiar so this must have um, just happened recently doesn't seem uh, yeah are they like still bleeding like does it look like they just recently died give me a medical test how recently were um, these Capri Suns squeezed out? <laughs> You're not able to tell there, and you need to roll me stress. I wish you guys uh, would just ask the medical guy on the team to do medical checks. Uh, you are nervous twitch. Everyone, increase your stress. Oh, my God. I hate this. Okay. Uh, but, yeah... Chaplain, you can see Mason trying to check these corpses out. Not able to fish Move. anything in. <laughs> Chaplain, okay. if you want to roll it. Damn. Now watch me do terrible, too. Oh. <laughs> you, um... Well, took 11 There's dice. not a single bullet hole in any of these bodies. Perfect. They have been crushed and twisted and broken. But not shot. Yeah. Um, recently ish or pretty recent yeah there's they still got you know pretty warm uh you'd say very very recent within you know maybe a half hour at most okay well if the guards are still outside then presumably the shit show is still inside sure and as you kind of look around kind of you know take in the situation uh, you can hear that coming from the studio, there's a lot of banging around. A lot of racket going on. Is there anything on these uh, bodies that I could see like that to... Yeah, like, what do they got on them? Like, equipment? Like, there, is there, there a lot of shooting? The, guns? The same kind of guns. The, those AKs that the other insurgents had. Okay. Do you have any more of those uh, stun grenades? Uh, no. Yeah, we... Well, we had four that we got off for. I don't have one on me, but we've got three more in the APC. Well, that doesn't help us right now, does it? I mean, we can go back to the APC. Um, how long does it take to reduce, reduce stress? Would we be able to like wait 10 minutes outside? If you want to retreat and... somewhere safe, I'll give you five, 10 minutes to rec recuperate. Could we retreat? Uh, some are visible of the house to see if anyone leaves. So it's got this wall and with one gate. So you could back up a ways and kind of take watch for a little bit. But uh, as it's mentioned, um, what is it? The uh, the clock in uh, Pasadena keeps turning, or whatever mm. the fucking Bill and Ted's quote is. So yeah, if you want to take time yeah. out to go recover stress, yes. But well, I think we only need to take 10 minutes. All right. How much stress is the most? Uh, I'm if at you two. take five minutes, 10 minutes, I'll let you clear all your stress out. Okay. I think that might be good to have a, a quick breather from the one fight in the yard to like the next fight we're going to run okay. into here. So you all retreat back. we're already racking it up pretty quick. Yeah. You all retreat I'm going to grab a couple magazines from the AKs that they got. Sure. And I'm just going to keep them in my person. Sure. Sure. You all retreat back. Take your 10 minutes, reduce your stress, um, everyone, clear out any uh, panic that you've got. During that 10 minutes, can I radio back to um, you and the damn uh, radio? Hatfield? Yeah, what do you want to ask him? Um, I just want to say, hey, we, uh, we got some info about a compound that perhaps has the last of the, the four we're looking for. I would do this outside of your shot of um, right. Okay. Now well, the rest of you sure that... can hear this on your earpieces, but yeah, if you step out yeah. of the APC, Wright won't be able to hear you. 
Okay. Yep. So I would just say we're on site at the place where we believe the last of the four to be. We have right in custody. The other two are dead. Um, looks like there's something nasty going on, similar to the first one we found uh, in the compound. So, yeah, that's uh, where we're at right now. Very good. Keep uh, keep at it, and I expect a report up from you here shortly, uh, giving me the uh, final status of your mission. Yep. Should be determined after this. If Dan, do your have indifference this... to the cat walking on your desk is just mm -hmm. like peak beautiful. <laughs> Me or yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's just a part of life now. It's what cats do. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm gonna grab another one of those grenades. Um, sure. And then Chaplin can too. Um, I, I was going to ask just one left. If we had this downtime, would I have the opportunity to uh, do a little more healing or is that kind sure. of a one wanna, sort of thing? No, if you want to take another contact test on you, go ahead. Okay. All right. Puts me almost back up to full health. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And you said you gave me a, a grenade. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, what, what kind is that? Uh, it's the uh, G2 electroshock grenade. The shooty shooty bang kind. Yep. That's the technical term. It's probably going to hurt. Uh, do I know what the effect of this on a synth is? Same as would be a regular person. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. They don't re react differently to... No. Okay. Okay. Um. Wait, Chaplin's a stun. God damn it! <laughs> he was a robot the whole time. Oh fuck! Wow. <laughs> My god! Look at his yeah, robot insides. You should have known. Ah. So uh, um, during this time, uh, Dante, you know, you're still not feeling so great. You would be correct. Uh. Definitely just kind of got some back pain. My my chest is just kind of bugging me. It's just like right behind oh, my spicy uh, food to eat. Probably. Is it, is it, is it yeah. itching? No, it just kind of burns. It's just it feels like I've got some something going on in my chest. I don't know what it is. Is it itching? Was the question. Some sort of little alien, maybe. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, no. Are you hiding this from us or I've made it very apparent that I'm not doing too hot hey can uh, Chaplin do a medic check on her actually yeah. what about um, in this particular case what about the doctor who's been uh... oh yeah that's in the back of the APC the yeah. Is there, yeah seeing as how he's got direct experience with this sort of thing <laughs> maybe um, Chaplin could assist him Oh, absolutely. And, uh, sure. Maybe learn what to look for. That'd be cool. I'll have the doctor roll that. Actually, I have some good medical, too. I want to pay attention. Uh, the doctor Does would be I like... some sort of circus freak? Leave me the fuck alone. He, he kind of goes over, gives a little work down. Um, yeah, that's... Um, that's a uh, real similar symptoms of uh, Carvalho. Uh, not so much Wojek, but um, yeah, where you're experiencing this pain. Um, yeah. Do you have an ETA on uh, these symptoms versus, you know, when it. Uh, like how far along are these symptoms compared to Carvalho? When Carvalho oh, himself. what is what what does this doctor know? He didn't even know what he was dealing with back at the facility. So Wright would chime in. Uh if you've got one of those things in you, uh 
you're fucked. That's why we were trying to hook up with the UPP so they could fix us. The, um, but you know, they gave us whatever that 26 Traconis medicine or whatever the fuck it was. Um, uh, I'm feeling okay though. Uh, can you confirm that doc? So the doctor will do a test on her. Now the doctor will say, you know, I listen, I, without proper medical equipment, I'm just taking guesses here. Um, there should yeah, be like, your guesses are still better than ours. The doctor gives right a one kind of a work over like, um, you're not displaying any of the symptoms that Carvalho or right or Carvalho or Wojcik displayed. Uh, maybe this stuff actually worked for you. Carvalho had symptoms. Uh huh. I mean, the pain exactly. was bad enough that he stabbed himself. What kind? Um, or Wojak? Sorry, Wojak had symptoms. Sorry, the person that we have. Oh, yet. I got you. I got you. So Wojak, uh, it was fucked up. I tried to tell you all this at the hospital, but y'all weren't real interested in listening to me. Uh, Matters at hand. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, like, when I checked out Carvalho, normal stats, uh, normal blood work came back, elevated white cell count. But then when we put Carvalho under an imaging, you could clearly see the creature growing in his chest. Now, Wojak never got her under an imaging unit because she disappeared. Uh, but strange microorganisms were in her, like, permeating her blood and rewriting uh, genetic code uh she looks like she was going under like some kind of like metamorphosis um and there were some some physical abnormalities when i did my initial workup so that may explain like the uh, massive twisted never yeah, mind sorry okay um so um, he'd say he would turn back to you, Dante. Yeah, if you've got one of those things in there, I mean, we could try and surgically remove it if you could get me to a, you know, an operating room. Or Wright says they gave her something at the base. And it looks like it might have worked on her. Maybe if you could try that too. But from what it sounds like, it's only worked for Wright. Because you know that Reese had a fucking creature pop out of him. Carvalho had a creature in his chest and Wojak was turning into something else. Yep. One out of four. Great <laughs> success. Yeah, out of four that we know of. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe right. Um, this is just my fucking luck when I'm supposed to be done with all this. No. Um, well. Dante. You know, you just remember kind of waking up out of your cryo tube. Mm -hmm. uh, waking up in the base in the medical lab, um, kind of feeling weird like that. Mm. Mm. You know what? I think I'm all right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you guys blow this out of proportion when you don't have the science to back it up. Well, we got a problem on well, hand, anyways. So yeah. you're still with us. Let's go deal with this shit. Let's go kill what's ever in that building. Go, uh, yeah. Depending on how terrifying it is, let's go burn whatever's in that building. Sure. So, you all head back into the compound. You move into the foyer. Yep. It's, uh, those corpses are still there. There's stairs going up, and there's a closed door going to the studio. When you were here the first time, there was all sorts of racket going on in the, the studio area. Now it's quiet. Mm -hmm. Has oh, the door see. still closed? Yeah. Does it look like it's been opened or damaged in any way? No. Uh, okay. There's some bullet holes in it. Oh, okay. But, but those uh, were there before. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um your oh, motion you tracker calls. so when you're inside in like a building is it the same 
physics as like when you're on the ship where the motion tractor. I imagine any place that's separated by a closed door probably won't work. Oh, you know what? Fuck. I forgot all about this. What? Well, I mean, it's closed door, but I'm sure it's got air vents and stuff the same way a ship does. All right. Maybe. So, yeah, in the house, it would be all in the same. Okay. Are okay. we picking up any uh, movement there on your scannery do? Now, the motion tracker won't show elevation, right? It's, it's a flat plane. Yep. Uh, it's like you, a halo. <laughs> you're picking up motion. Uh, it looks like coming from the uh, corner of the... Uh, room down there well there's definitely uh, something room. in there Potentially. Uh, do we shoot um, first and yeah. ask questions later stun grenade first I open the door for that yep uh, you want to open the door I'll throw the stun grenade I don't but I will <laughs> anyone right. can who's opening the door chaplain uh, I, I Juski? Uh, I'll open the door. Give me mobility Chaplin's test. A bit, I think Chaplin's a bit too uh, valuable. Uh, pushing that. There we go. All right. Yeah. Great. You throw the door open and get out of the way of Mason. Mason, go ahead and give me that uh, grenade. Okay. What do you think? I got some spooky music for all of you. I like it. Well, I wasn't expecting it, so at first when you started playing it, I thought I was hearing it from somewhere else, and I was very confused. Nice. So yeah, three you successes. Toss the grenade in. It lands in the corner. Um. Yeah, there, Briar Cub. I I've got well, I think all my pipes out here. Chuck them. I got that fucking one. I got that one. Uh, and I think I've got. I got that one. And then the other two that I've got out here are Nording, which are these little tiny doodads. I like Chocom. They're my. I've got more of them than any other kind of pipe. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you toss this grenade into the open room. It lands in the corner. No one else is around. Now, when you look in the room, the furniture in the room is just a mess. It's all been thrown up against the walls. And the floor in the center of the room has been torn up. The carpet's been peeled up. Flooring's been peeling up, revealing a uh, an opening to the crawl space below the house. Oh, no. Okay. I don't like that. With his grenade toss, does it uh, stop motion tracking? <laughs> the grenade throws out. It goes off. The motion tracker stops for a few minutes. Uh, what do you all want to do? You move into the room. See I'll that be keeping this... a close eye on the tracker. Sure. No, uh, no motion. Do we hear anything after the grenade goes off? You all wait for a few minutes, and you hear. Uh, I don't want to wait a few minutes. I just want to okay. hear like instantly. Like, instantly, no. Okay. Uh. Yeah, and I want to go in and try and clear the room. Okay. Yeah, you move in. Room's empty. No one's in here. Just the floor and shit's been peeled up, revealing a uh, kind of like crawl space or something underneath Where, the house. So. Does the crawl space lead like under the house and out? Like they'd be. You're gonna look in there. Well, like coming into the house, was there like space underneath it? Not that you noticed. That visible. No, as far as you know, you're at ground level. Okay. Um, so that would be underground. Okay. Okay. In which case, our grenade probably didn't do us any favors. <laughs> That's fine. Um, can I? Does it look like just uh, looking at the opening? Does it look like it's like a shaft going down, or is it like 
just the floor layer, and I can tell it's bigger than the hole. Um, if you want to look in, it looks like it's a tunnel. That just digs, a tunnel that's like going straight down. That kind of down off at an angle. Some someone could drop down there and crawl down it. Oh fuck that! Um, you all hear a, a loud thump from above. Chaplin, the motion detector goes off again, showing movement in the same spot. All right, so you, you hear a scream elevation. coming from above you. A loud scream, a shot of a gun. Everyone take a point of stress. Okay. Um, yeah. Cl Let's close go. that hatch the same upstairs. Thing. Yeah, can we... Do we have anything... You could close the hatch and throw a piece of furniture over it. Yeah, I would like to okay, do that. Yeah, close the hatch, throw furniture over it. Cool. Um, yeah, and then close the door behind us. Sure. Moving uh, up the stairs? Yeah. Yeah. Who's taking point? I will. Sure. I'll be behind him. Okay. Hammer, then Dante, take point. As you move up, it's one of those stairs that kind of like switch back. It goes up, there's a little platform, then it turns, and then finally ends up on the floor above. As you get to that switch back, you hammer, you kind of turn around, and there's a dude just sitting there. Rifle laid on the uh, step next to him. Sitting there, elbows on his knees, hand in his, or head in his hands, just kind of rocking, just oblivious to the world. Um, I think I'm just going to leave him alone. Yeah, do you all just move past him? Um, I don't need him jeopardizing anything. Does anyone have any, like, non-lethal, like, stun gun or something? I don't think so. You're all Marines. I mean, You're not police. You don't carry stun. You hit him in the side of the head or something. I yeah. will take his rifle. gun. <laughs> sure. You pick up his gun. He doesn't fucking notice. Doesn't react to it. He's just kind of there rocking, drenched I'll in sling my. I'll sling my pulse rifle face. over my shoulder, and then I'll use his AK. Does he look I look wrong? at his face and see if it looks like um, sure. it's been used. Give me a second. Uh, oh, thanks for hanging out, and I'll I'll try to kill them all, man. Uh, yeah, you take a look at his face. Just he looks sheet white, drenched in uh, sweat. Other than that, he looks okay. 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 Um. Yeah, let's... I don't know. I don't want him to jeopardize anything if he's in the way. So what do you want to do? You just move him past him? You're going to try to clock him over the head? Shoot him in the head? Yeah, I'd be in favor of knocking him out. I don't Still an insurgent. Like... I mean... If you want to give me a close combat test. Yeah. I'll tell you, go ahead and roll stress. I'm going to say you knock him out. Okay. Uh, you're keeping it together, man. You're cool. All right. Knock him out. You uh, slowly drop him down to that landing so he doesn't make a bunch of noise as he falls down the stairs. Uh, Zimajewski, you've got his AK-407 or 4047, whatever it is. As you all move up the stairs to the landing. On the landing, you can see there's two doors. Uh, they look like they would go to bedrooms. Okay, and we know... Which one sounded like it was the one... The, the floor the layout's came the from. same, so in theory it should be over here where the motion tracker was. Correct. Indicating. So, master bedroom. Yeah. I yep. want to clear the guest bedroom first. Sure. I mean, Make sure no one tries to come up behind us. Yeah, so, uh, Dante, if you open the door to the guest bedroom, the furniture in here is just trashed. Um, you don't see any persons. There could be something kind of in the rubble if you want to move in and kind of give it a little, take a moment to do a sweep, like a search, but you're certain there's no threats in here. That's all right. We can move on. Sure. 
So... You... Who's opening up the door to the master bedroom? I'll do it. Um, do you want to ready your grenade there? Um, yeah, chaplain. So, I am corner. going to tell you. We're about... Uh, yeah, go ahead. You ready your grenade? Who's opening the door? I'll say I might give it to somebody who's better suited to, to use it, to be I'll honest. I'll take it again. Okay. okay. Who's opening I'll, the door? I'll pop the door open then. Sure. You open the door. Immediately you look in. It's dark in this bedroom. Furniture's kind of trashed. There's a strange kind of coppery scent that's heavy in the air. Um, you... There's just a little bit of light coming in. As you kind of look around the room, you see there's a pile in the corner where the motion detector was going off. It almost looks like a nest. And then you realize that it's a nest made of crumpled and broken bodies. No. The light Blood has covered the floor. As huh. you see, and we're going to go into a uh, little bit of a cinematic thing at this point. So I'm going to I'm going to describe something to you all. Please hold off on any reactions that you want to take until I'm done. You're all going to hate it. <laughs> As you're all kind of looking in this dark room, a person stands up out of the center of this nest and steps out, takes unsteady steps towards you all at the door. And immediately you can see that it's Wojak. She screams shrieks at you, ripping out tufts of her own hair. But you realize it's not just hair, but lumps of scalp are coming off with the hair. You can see that her skull is bubbling, growing out of the back of her head, elongated, as something wet and black inside her splinters her jaw and spits her teeth at you. Next is her body. You watch as she moves towards you. Bones start buckling, dislocating under impossibly elastic skin, rearranging themselves into something hideous. Wojek screams. It shifts from madness to monstrous, and with a wet plop, her spinal cord distends and spills out down behind her leg like a bony black tail. Fluted tubes erupt from her back, stretch past any limit. Her dermis finally rends, revealing a smooth, cylindrical, skulled beast wearing a morbid mask of a woman's face. How this behemoth fits inside her is beyond comprehension. The Wojek thing sloughs off her flesh suit. Her nose slides down her now sable skull. Mad eyes tumble from ebon sockets to roll across the floor. In their place is nothingness. Two Stygian voids where eyes should be. Set in a metal mouth skull face attached to a long curved head. Now no longer human. The monster that was Wojak can only be called Alien. Trap. Give me, give me a moment here. Let's see. I was allowed to shit my pants. My android pants would be shat. Mm. Um. Are you programmed to shit your pants? I don't believe so. <laughs> yeah, I want to show you all this picture. Yeah. Everyone, go ahead and take me a point of stress. Yeah, that's fair. Because now we're gonna go in initiative, but we're gonna do popcorn because I don't fucking like rolling initiative. All right, uh, I'm gonna roll a d6. 
Dan is one, Joe is two, Tyler's three, Liz is four, Jake is five, Wojak is six. Do I get to toss the grenade? Because I had that readied. No. Okay. We're doing full initiative here, because seeing this thing, and I roll a six, would have shaken you and kind of... Um, Held your action. Yeah, kind of kind of gave you pause for a moment as you saw this fucked up thing coming towards you. Now, who was it who opened the door? It was Hammer. It was me, yeah. It's beautiful and horrendous. Beautiful for sure. Let's see here. Oh, six means okay. Well, let's hope I survive. All right. All right. You are going to get eviscerated, and as the tail blade slices across your abdomen, I'm going to roll a d10 base damage one if the attack causes any damage automatically cr triggers critical injury 45 even if the victim is not broken so let me give you 10 dice there tyler okay Ooh. you pick up critical injury number 45 is he allowed to mitigate with his armor yeah, can i mitigate that... with armor or no uh yeah go and roll your armor you gotta have two successes in this. Oh, can I push armor or no? You cannot no. push armor. On my armor. screen when I rolled that last one just turned over. Almost. I oh, know. Let's take a look at critical injury number 45. Ooh, actually, I need to look. Is it the mambo? Hang on. I need to look at... Isn't that what happened? Jake's the only person who got that, I think. Time. Uh, So, bleeding guts. Lethal in one shift, so that's about eight hours. You're going to take okay. one point of damage for every roll of mobility or close combat. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're going to die in a shift, but you're also going to start taking damage anytime you roll mobility or close combat. So let me... Oh, we can still fire you again. That's good. Uh, let me go ahead. I want to open up your character sheet there, Hammer. Actually, what I thought. I'm at least I can still fire my gun. Yeah, it's not super terrible. Uh, what did I say that was? Probably that was... Wound. 45. 45, that is... Abdomen, that is... No, Bleeding Gut. Let me add Bleeding Gut to your character sheet. <laughs> Weapons, vehicle, system, equipment... Be system. Nope, that's actual systems. What the fuck? Um, uh, armor. Oh my gosh, I don't know where the fuck it is. Uh, entry table. Yeah, but I don't know where it fucking stored it at. Um, yeah, you got bleeding gut, man. Cool. I mean, I'm not, not cool, but. All right. Uh, so this thing took its turn. Which means I'm going to roll a d6. Now, some monsters in this game get two actions. Per round. Same roll. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Oh, shit. Oh, this selfish bastard. <laughs> it gets to go again. Christ. Hammer. Venomous Fang sinks its fangs into you. I get to roll an attack with eight base damage, or eight base dice. Uh, if it causes any damage, the victim must make a sickness against Verulent 8 or suffer. Can I attempt to defend, defend with my armor? Yeah, go ahead and give me your armor roll. Oh, oh damn. Oop. Yeah, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to now roll 8 base dice, and you need to roll me a... 
You need to roll me. It's going to be a stamina test. Okay. Stamina? Yep. Strength? Uh, stamina is strength based. Oh, I see it now. I'm just blind. Okay. I got two successes. You need to beat me. I got a success. No. Can I push it? Oh, no. I already got stress, so I can't push it. So, you're going to take sickness. So, I need to look up sickness real quick to tell you what happens. Of course, you're not, not fucking there. At least you're not also panicking. Yes. Gosh. Uh, let's see. You cannot recover health while you're sick. Oh, Make shit. another sickness roll at the start of each shift. Uh, so you're going to take a point of damage from this right now. Okay. If broken while sick. You. Yeah, pretty much. You can't uh, until you get the sickness cured. Uh, and you get over it by making a uh, health test at the end of each shift, like every eight hours. Yeah, you can't pick up any health, man. Okay. I gotta tell you, if you're broken while sick, you gotta make another sickness roll. Okay. Um, if you fail, you die. Oh. Not okay. Yeah. Good times for everyone. Okay. So. Joe, you get to go. Um, would I be able to toss the grenade far enough into the room that it could hit it, but not? Sure. Because uh, so the only person engaged with it right now is Hammer. He's kind of yep. fucked up anyways. It's a non-lethal grenade. I don't really care if it overlaps on him. Too. I'm going like, to tell I you what we're going to do. You're going to make me an attack roll. Okay. And if it fails, then you're going to make that attack roll again against Hammer. Okay. So this is a uh, ranged. Yep, just roll all your regular grenade attack. Sure. Okay. Uh, that is the stun grenade, right? Yep. Uh, let me take a look and see. You've got that on your character sheet, right? Yes, I do. All humans and target must make a hard stamina roll. Or stun for a round. So, uh, this thing just needs to make a stamina roll. Um... Uh, it succeeds with one. Okay. Um, does it... Does that have any, like, negative effect on it at all? No. Okay. If it, it would have failed, it would have been stand, uh, stunned for a round. Okay. So. Nice. All right, who's going next, Joe? Um... Let's see. Um... Uh, Jake. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Juice it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go Ron Peel on this sucker and set this thing to full auto and then forget this alien ever existed. Sure. Oh shit. Alright. Oh snap. Too many insults. Okay, so for full auto, I get to add two to the roll, plus an additional stress die, because I'm going to take an additional point of stress. So, yep, add your stress, then make your roll plus two. I'll do the plus two afterwards. 
Yeah, roll that plus two, man. 2d6. Alright, oh, so... Damn it. That does give you... Uh, that's two, three, four points of damage, but you need to roll stress for me. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Unbelievable. Nice work. And it is an armor-piercing weapon, so... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, armor reduced by half, but rounded up. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll roll that armor again with the penalty to it. Okay, yeah, it takes all four points of your damage. Oh, fucking A. All right. Now, I'm not a UPP guy, but I gotta say, their weapons worked fairly well. Okay, luckily for you, this does not appear to have acidic blood. So. I will allow uh, Hammer, or has Hammer gun? No. Hammer has, has not has gun. A, he can go now in an attempt to escape, maybe, or uppercut this thing. I'm going to uppercut this thing with the, the, the the active end of my machine gun. Sure thing. Make your attack. Hands. Captain Kieran, I won't forget about your insult. Let's save it until we round out our action here. Ooh, man. You that gotta roll me some stress. was a lot of dice. Ah. Keeping it together, though. Captain Kieran, you goofy son of a bitch. Always demanding my time. How dare you? You... Fucking... Cat lover. Oh, no. Okay. Um... You, uh... Smell like ripe rhino tank. There you go. Fuck you. Really losing your edge there, bud. Yeah, you know, I should remove that. Because it's like... I don't know. I want to try and personalize these, but... I I only know them so well, so it kind of makes it hard to. Maybe I should just stop trying to personalize oh. and just put together a string of insulting words. Like, you fucking cow-sucking piece of shit who rides llamas all the way to the bank to find out you're overdraft and you owe them money. You fucking dreg of society. Go fuck yourself. There you go. That's probably acceptable. <laughs> and the yeah. llama you rode in on. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tyler. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna next? cry a little bit. Uh huh. Uh, who's going next? Um, yeah. You shot. You missed. Uh, Dante. Dante, you're up. Oh Jesus! All right. Well, I mean, I don't really want to use a grenade launcher in this small of a space, so. Best I can probably do is try and shoot the fucker. Two damage. I might. Is that the same armor piercing gun that you got, Jake? The uh, rifle? yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Or it's the official marine version of said same. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you put two points of damage on this thing there, uh, Dante. Who's going after you, Dante? Uh, you got what? Dan? Is it just Dan? I think it's, it's just Dan. me. Alright, Dan, you'll get to go twice. Easy. Uh, I've got a gun. <laughs> shoot. So I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> is this an armor-piercing gun? It, it is, if I hit. You fucking miss. All right. So, I'll get to try again. You're gonna go first at the top of the oh, next shit. round. Oh wait. Doing popcorn. One Three success. Three points of damage. 
it soaks or it eats up. Um, yeah, man. Dang, I'm so useful, guys. Um, and the benefit of just keeping our turns going. Hang on. I think I'll just. Oh, okay. Something's changing in the game. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no. <laughs> Times they are changing. Okay. So your last attack injures this thing, wounds it. It makes a desperate and pained cry of fury and lashes out. Hammer, I think you're still the only one who's up in melee range. Everyone else is staying back and shooting. Probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Not what you would call a smart man. <laughs> Go to that. Uh, this thing is going to put one point of damage on you uh but i need to take a look at critical injuries oh uh, i still have armor uh yeah go ahead and roll your armor you just not gotta negate the one god damn no 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 the worst armor it's seriously the picture of armor that you wear is, in all the places yeah. that armor should be you get ruptured intestines also lethal in one shift uh, I need you to roll me a stamina test. Maybe you have to roll the, the sickness thing again too, right? Well. That's two successes. Okay, cool. You don't get a bacterial infection from your ruptured intestine. Oh. Well, that's good. Uh, but so, also, it's lethal in a shift. So you got two things, two critical injuries trying to kill you in one shift. Doesn't he have to roll for instantly dying or whatever? No, no, no that's no, once a oh. shift he has to roll for that. Yeah. Okay, I thought if he got an injury or something. Uh, I'll double check. Dan's trying to kill you here. I know, I hope he doesn't. No, every mobility in close combat, you take a point of damage. Other than that, you're fine. Okay, he doesn't have... I thought there was like another test he had to do. I think if I dropped a zero, I have to take another... If you were broken, thing. yeah. Or broken, broken. Yeah. okay. Oh, phew. All right, so... Uh, that was kind of an interrupt, but it's now going to try and scramble away from you all. I still can't heal you. <laughs> uh, did that roll? Come on now. Uh, it pushes past all of you. Can I try like it... a close combat or something? Yes, you can try a close combat. Okay. I'm Anyone else would have asked, I would have had to think about it. But you, my friend... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you may. I think that's Ow. like five successes. Oh, four. Four successes. Uh, close combat. I'm... That's going to deal uh, four, no, one, two, three, four points of damage. But you need to go ahead and take a point of damage for me. Yep. As this now means I need to roll on this again. Is it making it down the stairs? Oh, we already did that. All right. Uh, you, Tyler, you interrupt this thing as it's trying to move past. You just bash its head in, and it collapses to the ground, slain. Okay. I don't know if we can burn this fast enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to unload a full round into its like head. Sure, and I'll tell you what. Doing that's going to be rather cathartic. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and reduce your stress by one. Nice. I'm about to roast it. As you... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back away slowly and go find Chaplin. I can't heal you, though. Oh, you can't? No, oh, that's right. I have to heal. Yeah, from you got the... that sickness. Yeah. yeah. Uh, While I'm incinerating that... it, I'm going to radio back and be like, okay, we got all of them. 
Sure. I think the insurgent left over in here probably needs to go too. He's seen too much. Uh, yeah. So do I just... Is the only way to get rid of the sickness is to succeed on a stamina? Hey, right. bringing the Once insurgent shift, too might be... Uh, Once a shift attempt to stamina. Might be good looking for right because that would make it look more like we are doing what they wanted us to do. Right? I mean, they don't care about the insurgent, do they? Well, they're allied with where we said we were bringing them, right? Hmm? Right... The Joe, deal with the insurgents didn't work. Mason, you hear a crackle oh. from your pocket. As you oh, the, uh, hear the muffled the, noise. And you start pulling it out as you hear. Operation is go. Find cover. Uh, is this let's get the, out of here. Uh, the insurgency. On the UPP uh, radio. Tom? Okay, I'm going to relay that to the team. Sure, you relay it to the team. What do y'all make of that? Let's bail. We need yeah, to out of this building fast. I'm going to grab, mm -hmm. I'm going to grab a hammer, and uh, get him in a fireman's carry and try to book it out of there. Thank you. Would we'll just, yep. just, just you sure. You Fuck I'm yourself, gonna hammer. The thing until <laughs> the last person is leaving and walk out with the last person. Okay, you start working on all that, but. All of you, your radios chime in. Charlie team, return to base. Repeat, return to base for immediate e As then it just goes to sh just static. Are we Charlie team? You're Charlie oh. team. You're and Charlie team. Distance. It wasn't an attack a, on us. You hear a boom. Oh no. Coming, you would guess, roughly the direction of Fort Nebraska. Oh. All of... Your comms go down as, um, let me see here. Something else happens. Do I know the frequency of the Waylon person that was calling us? You don't. They were calling you on your own lines. Like they were cutting in. And, and now our lines are dead. <laughs> uh, hang on. There's this. I'll try and call up ahead. I think our base is torched. We might need to get some of their uh, comms to keep uh, long distance comms between us. As chaplain, mm -hmm. kind of stumbles and falls to the ground. Uh oh. Everyone, why don't you go ahead and make sure you don't got any extra cards or anything? Chaplin slowly pushes his way back up to his feet. Anything? Anyone got anyone? Anyone got anything they want to add? First thing I didn't do is get what rid of this guy. <laughs> you all right there? Damn. Chaplin. Matter of fact, I I've got another gun to get rid of. You're, you just start like disarming yourself. Yeah. How did you have another gun? Uh, felt compelled to take it. Mm. Okay. Compel yourself to take some of these guys' as radios. We need to get the hell out of here. Um. Did everyone check your agendas? Did you double yep. check, triple check, quadruple check? Yep. Yep, I'll help pick up equipment. Did, so did Chaplin, like, completely fall over, like he turned off and then back on, or did he just, like, stumble? Kind of like he completely, like, he fell to the ground, kind of went silent for a moment, and then woke back up, like acting rebooted. bewildered. 
he lost a game of Quop and then got back up. Mm. <laughs> Real life Quop <laughs> failure. Yeah, failure. That's that's actually the underlying operating system for the Androids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very complex game of When he clock. starts doing this sort of stuff, it's time to get out of there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, he's stuck. <laughs> I'm going okay. to take another one of my x stems. Sure, you can clear out any stress you got. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm not feeling too great. I'm starting to feel a little bit of like um, heartburn, maybe. Mm-mm. We should get you to a doctor. Uh, As... That. My liver's fucked up. My kidney's fucked up. You, you all don't need those. step out. Of the, um, the house. Having hmm. done whatever you need to do inside. Looking up, you can see Marine Corps fighters screaming across the sky. Firing on descending UPP drop ships. War has come to Arrakis. Everyone take a point of stress. Fun. And with that is the end of Act 1. And the start of Act 2. Jeez. So, now that we're there, just know that things will continue to escalate. So... Uh, yeah, with that, we're gonna fucking sign off. Act one is complete. What do y'all think so far? It's still pretty fun. Frigged. <laughs> I'm yeah. fucked up. Oh, I, I, we're like a sorry state right now, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. but, uh, and we've managed to only rescue one person, which probably doesn't matter now because the base is gone. <laughs> rescue is a very loose term here. I mean, technically, we completed our task. Captured. We got captured, all four. Not rescued. Yeah. We've captured one person. We're your dead. We tracked Orlando. down. We killed three of them, so there's only one left. True. Mission we have them. Stuff our so, hands and I mean, does the mission do matter anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. All right. You know, maybe My they only just regret blew up is the comm tower. The fort might belt. still be there. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to see what we can learn next session. Yeah, so we'll I be mean, back. If I had an explosive, that'd be the first thing I'd blow up is the calm down. Yeah. I mean, we'll be back in what we two weeks sorry, sorry. for the uh, the next session of this. Moving into Act 2, uh, we'll definitely be able to make it through Act 2 next session, I think. So then probably another session after that for Act 3. Um, yeah, this has been Aliens Destroyer of Worlds. You're watching on Defenders of Cobalt. Come back. It is now technically Saturday for us, so come back. Noon Central here on Defenders of Cobalt. We're going to be streaming. It's going to be, what, episode four, I think, of Watercolors and Warriors. It's episode four or five. We're actually going to be streaming it on Twitch, uh, so you can check it out live as, you know, the crew makes mistakes. Uh, Saturday night over on Goodman Games Official, uh, 9 p.m. Central. Uh, Bert's going to be running us through some more uh, Umerica. So you can catch Dan, Jake, and myself over there on that. Sunday night, 9 p.m. Central, here on Defenders of Cobalt, you'll be able to watch our Salt Marsh campaign that Alex is running. Um, what is it? Monday is Alien over on the Lollygaggers, twitch.tv slash the Lollygaggers. Um, I think I got it short. Yeah, it should be exclamation point gaggers. <laughs> yeah, so 9 Central on Monday. Catch us there. Um, I don't got shit on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll be back here on Defenders of Cobalt for some more Rime of the Frostmaiden, kind of, sort of, running it in Weird Frontiers. And then next Friday, Joe will be running us through some more basic fantasy role-playing game. And uh, that's what we got for the week at large. Is the one-shot this coming week there, Liz? May 6th. Uh, it's going to be this coming Thursday, yeah. We got a Deadlands one-shot where we're going to be playing through the last will and testament of Obadiah Falconer. Ooh, that's a fun game. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting shit. Um, module. Yeah. I don't fucking know, so I'm going to sign us off. So until we see you next time, start fires, do drugs, and wash your fucking hands. Deuces.